What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for another fight companion this week. Two of four, as tonight we'll be right back here after this amazing Cage Warriors 144 event to run down and live stream the FAC. What is it? FAC 16 tonight as well. There may not be any UFC, Jefferson. But there is Cage Warriors today, all day, actually. The broadcast, I know it's late. It was supposed to start at 10 a.m. It's starting in five minutes. We have started here. Live commentary, live reaction, live play-by-play -play interaction with you amazing folks in the live chat. As you know, if you're familiar with us here at the City Life Project YouTube channel, we have giveaways, merch giveaways, and we're going to have... MMA memorabilia giveaways very, very soon as well. But on every stream, you all, that's right, you all on YouTube. So if you're on Twitter, get your ass over to YouTube. 
you have a chance to win some prizes here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Merch giveaways, Oprah Winfrey style. We're giving it all the way to you folks. And all you have to do to enter is be like Jefferson, like this video, and drop a comment in the live chat. Once you drop a comment, you're automatically entered at the end of the stream. If we hit 50 likes on the video or our sub goal of 950 subscribers, if we hit either of those two goals, I shaved today and I still left my little fucking cut things on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> if we had 900 subscribers and or 50 likes on the video, we will give merchandise to some lucky fans here who commented in the live chat. Doesn't matter if you commented once or a hundred times. You get when you comment once, you get one entry. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Uh, before because the broadcast, it's it hasn't even started here yet, folks. It hasn't even started. We're still waiting for Fight Pass to fire it up. So let's get to some of the comments here before we highlight and run down the first bout on this card. I'll get my official predictions. I want to hear yours. If you haven't already, vote in the poll question. I see some of you in the live chat are already commenting on it. So that is amazing. You are all amazing. Let's get right into it. Again, if you're on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our contest and so you can join our live chat. Uh, Jefferson, happy to be here and take whatever MMA I can get, except I watched The Last Invicta. was not impressed by that at all, like watching kids flexing at the playground. Yeah, The Last Invicta event wasn't that great. I was chatting with Jefferson in the chat saying, I think there was like one woman who had like, a younger fighter who had pretty good jujitsu. Can't remember her name off the top of my head. I might be confusing it with the last LFA event. No matter. One championship women. And of course, women in the UFC, they dominate women's mixed martial arts. What's up, Peanuts? How's it going, brother? <laughs> A European card. So happy for you to join us. That's right. Cage Warriors, the best promotion out east, in my opinion. In Rome, Italy today, that is unbelievable. We will dive into the fighters here in just a moment. Yes, be like Jefferson and Brian and vote in our poll question. It's in the live chat here. It's a simple one, folks. With the bantamweight title on the line, who wins the main event of Cage Warriors 144 Rome? Wooding or Martignoni? Martignoni? I'm going to have a hell of a time pronouncing all these Italians' names because they have stacked the card with Italians. I think there's eight or nine Italian fighters on the card. It's unbelievable. Jefferson saying Wooding. Brian saying Wooding. Peanuts, what's up? What's up? Uh, Zoomer Loyalist. First time watching Cage Warriors, to be honest. Well, welcome back, Zoomer. Cage Warriors is an unbelievable promotion. I would say it's a, it's a step above LFA but not quite the Bellator and PFL level. I mean, maybe it rivals PFL. What do you folks think? You think Cage Warriors rivals, rivals PFL? It's a damn good promotion. It's definitely a feeder league, but I mean, you see champions out of Cage Warriors dominate in the UFC historically. I mean, even further back than a Conor McGregor. Give me one sec here, folks. My, uh, I have everything on my TV over there. I'm just going to refresh it because I said the broadcast was supposed to start now. So give me one sec here. Literally two seconds. Oh, by the way, I had a tradition. I know this is in Rome, Italy, but it's Cage Warriors. It's an English promotion. So you better believe that I had the English breakfast. I had the English breakfast tea. I had some beans. I had sausages. And I had some eggs. I mean, it was as close as I could get to an English breakfast, but I tried to do Cage Warriors some good here. So give me one sec here, folks. I'm just going to refresh my computer screen, uh, get the broadcast up. Then we'll highlight both of these two fighters. We'll talk about their past records. We'll talk about their fighting style. We'll talk about the betting odds, if there are any betting odds. And then I will give my official prediction, and I encourage all you to do so. So give me literally one minute. I'll be right back on the other side. Let's get into this broadcast. Cage Warriors 144. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, and I'll see you literally in one minute on the other side. I just bought a new way. A couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to know it That's the stuff that I love, love 
da-da-da-da-da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We can just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Look at that. Patty Pimblett on the broadcast here as well. Former Cage Warriors, two-time champion. Unbelievable stuff here. And I know we had a comment. Zoomer saying, you like the PFL. You like uh, the how professional the production is. Well, this is pretty good too for a fight pass broadcast, which is where I'm watching it, folks. Cage Warriors. Pretty damn good, too. Pretty damn good, too. All right, we got three. There were supposed to be four, I believe, but we have three now, which is why I was pushed back a bit. Preliminary bouts on this prelim card. Then we get right into the main card. So I appreciate everybody joining live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We have giveaways and prizes throughout the every single live stream that we do here on the channel. So like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and Boom, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. If we hit our goals of 50 likes on the video and or so you have two opportunities to win 950 subscribers on the channel. If we had either of those two goals at the end of the stream, we will choose some winners by random from the live chat. So that's all you have to do to enter, folks. All right. As we do here, and I mean, keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream. Love interacting with you. I, I watch all these fights. Anyways, like pretty much every fight that's on Fight Pass, if I'm not working, I'm watching. And I figured I might as well just do these and hang out with everybody else who's watching fights as well. Helps me practice my play-by-play. -play, so if I ever get a job again doing that, I used to do play-by-play -play and commentary for hockey. Fighting, it's a, it's a new fun thing. So um, I just fire it up whenever I'm watching the fights anyways, and I'm excited for you all to join. Again, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. You're automatically entered into winning some prizes if you do so. Okay, this is what we do on this channel. Every single time there's a fight, we highlight the fighters right before or while they're making their walk to the cage. We highlight them. We talk about their fighting style. We talk about their records, any storylines that have to do with them. We'll highlight them here. I, we run down the betting odds if there are some, and then I get my official prediction. I want to hear yours. Shane and I, we got some beer bets going on. I don't even think Shane has woken up yet here at his, at it, as it is... Not even 11 a.m. yet on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. All right, starting with, and I believe there's there's pretty much an Italian in every single bout here as this is Cage Warriors 144, Rome, Italy, baby. Emmanuel Sabatino, three wins, one loss, one KO, TKO, two decisions. He lost his last fight in Venturo FC, but since becoming professional, he has gone three and one, winning his first three fights. As an amateur, holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wins, four losses, one draw as an amateur before making his pro debut. Manuel's 28 years old, 135 pounds here. Doesn't look like we have any betting odds on Tapology. As we look at his opponent now. Oops. 
Karol Mikalik out of Poland. Three wins, two losses, two KO, TKO, one submission, one no contest. Lost his last fight in Cage Warriors. Won his fight before that in VMMA. So this is his second Cage Warriors fight. And before then, where else did he fight? Atlas MMA, TFL. Only had one fight in Sparta fight night as an amateur. Anyways, excited for this one, folks. Excited for this one. Again, Carol McCulloch, three wins, two losses. I'm just trying to get more information on both these fighters. Oh, and I'm sorry, 175 pounds. What did I say? I said 135, but I'm just like, I'm sorry. They're 170 pounders, folks. And Emmanuel Sabatino, 26 years old, not 28. Sorry, God. <laughs> Tapology and SureDog had rivaling stats here. Just trying to make sure I get everything right. When we do UFC streams and things like that, folks, I mean, obviously ESPN, everything's got everything nailed down as far as the stats. When we get into more of like, the feeder leagues and things like that. Especially last night, I was trying to find like amateur boxing stats for RJJ. It was nuts. Anyways, uh, as we run down here, as we near the end of the run down here, and I, I apologize, this one was, wasn't as polished as, as they usually are, as we get into a rhythm here on the City Light Project YouTube channel streaming. And by the way, anyone on Twitter, uh, migrate over to YouTube so you can give me your predictions and so you can comment on this stream. Mikalik, three and two out of Poland. Lost his last fight. Both of these fighters coming off a loss. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Lee, Sabatino, 26 years old. Lost his last fight as well. Like I said, his first professional loss. 26 years old, the hometown boy. What do you folks think? Essentially even, essentially even, both relatively new to MMA. But Sabatino, he has way more fights as an amateur. That's who I'm picking. He's probably riled up. He's probably so stoked to be fighting in front of his own crowd in Italy. Locking it in, Sabatino. That is my pick. By decision, says Jefferson. So you're going one. You're going one deeper. And by the way, anyone who is looking to watch this fight, you can find it on Fight Pass for free. If you obviously have your Fight Pass subscription. Uh, no surprise, Mark Goddard. Going to be heavily part of this event. Big up to the PFL. And the $1 million prize. All right. Live reaction, live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live interaction. So keep the comments coming, folks. As you know, it's a comment-driven live stream. First preliminary fight. Let's get it on. Round one, let's get it on. They touch gloves, center of the octagon. Yes, this is, in fact, an octagon, not a... <laughs> Circle ring like Bellator in one championship. Sabat Sabatino with the red tape. And oh, it looks like Sabatino already getting tagged here. The Pol the Polish fighter tagged him a few times to land some solid combos. Sabatino going for the takedown, but he gets lands in a guillotine. Mikhail. Now body lock position. McCulloch right away. Right away with some beautiful, beautiful combinations. When Sabatino went for the takedown, I mean, right away. Got him in a guillotine. Four minutes left in this first round, folks. And this is a scrap. This is a scrap. Inside low kick by the Italian. And then rushing in is McCulloch. 
Let me know your thoughts on this fight as it plays out too, folks. You'll see my live reaction. I want to see yours. Read yours, I guess. Vote in our poll question too if you haven't already. I know some of you have. That's amazing. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Again, we're trying to get to 50 likes on the video, so share this with your friends. Share this with your family. If we get to 50 likes at the end of this stream, we will give away some prizes. Clinched up against the fence is McCulloch. Sabatino maybe just had some nerves in that opening like 30 seconds. McCulloch came out swinging. Made him look like a deer in the headlights there. Kind of forced him to try to go for a takedown. But now it looks like he's a little bit composed two minutes into this fight. Just hitting the three-minute mark. Clinched up against the cage. McCulloch now dominant position. Shout out to everyone joining us. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube. All right, separated are both of these fighters now. Nice straight left by the Italian. Again, 170 pounds. Welterweights here. Nice outside low kick by Sabatino. Definitely recovered after that <laughs> onslaught, early onslaught. His corner giving him the, uh, every time he lands, so hyping him up a little bit. And can he get the takedown? No! Sabatino can't get the takedown and almost was reversed. He still has the body locked up, even though he's the one up against the cage. Patty Pimblett, again, on the broadcast for Cage Warriors. Doing some color commentary. One minute and 50 seconds left in this first round. Shout out to everybody joining. Shout out to everyone joining. Cage Warriors 144, Rural Middle live here on Fight Pass. Live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with you folks here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. If you want to enter our giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and then come hit us up later in the stream. We will announce a winner if we get to 50 likes on the video or 950 subscribers on the channel. Nice knee breaking out by Sabatini. Sabatini with some combos now. Sabatini just, his, his confidence is back. Caught the leg, uppercut. Whereas McCulloch came out swinging, setting the pace. Looks like Sabatini now on the counter there when McCulloch went to throw that leg. And finally, Sabatini gets his takedown on the single leg. Top position against the cage. One minute to work here on the ground. McCulloch gives up his back to try to get up. And he does successfully. Sabatini has an arm locked. Controlling McCulloch still wants to get that takedown. Has his back more of his side. 40 seconds left in this first round. Let me know your folks' thoughts on, well, the start of Cage Warriors. For those who haven't seen Cage Warriors yet. Again, it's a feeder league, so especially on the early prelims here, very, very green, some of these fighters. Early, early careers, but fun to watch nonetheless. Oh, and a flying knee attempt on the entry by McCulloch by Sabatino. Doesn't land, though. 15 seconds left. Another outside low kick by Sabatini. Or Sabatino, my apologies, folks. Not familiar with all these folks' names, so just reading them as we go. Good combo by McCulloch. Straight left jab followed by a right hook. And that is the end of the first round, folks. I mean, solid first round. Back and forth. Shoot, I don't know how to score that first round, to be perfectly honest. I guess Sabatino because of the takedown? McCulloch came in hot and actually tagged Sabatino on what? His second shot. It was a left hook and then just starts emptying the tank there. Not completely, not completely, but just combos after combos. Not necessarily like the most beautiful combos, but tagging him up there. A couple uppercuts, mostly with the hooks. So Sabatino does a good job of defending there and then regains his composure through some good knees in the clinch. Finally, I think it was like four attempts, finally got his takedown, attempted a flying knee. I'm going Sabatino. I think he had a better second half of that round and he wasn't knocked down despite having, you know, his lights turned off for a second. Let me know your thoughts, folks.
Four minutes and 50 seconds left. Let's get it all! In this second round. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say left. We just started this second round. <laughs> As 30 seconds go, just shot 30 seconds go by. Things move quick in Cage Warriors. I look to share the link. We're already into the second round. I absolutely love it. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's comment-driven live stream. And of course, if you comment in the live chat, you're automatically entered into winning our prize, which is some merchandise here. A nice City Life Project hoodie. Nice left hook by McCallick. Ooh, bloodied up now. Bloodied up is the nose of Sabatini. Nice straight left jab by McCulloch. Oh, man. Jefferson, it's YouTube. I can't show something I don't own, brother. Another flying knee attempt. I highly recommend getting Fight Pass, though. It's seven bucks a month, and you get a ton of fight promotions, plus all the early prelims, plus all the fight nights, plus the whole Strike Force and Pride library. Takedown attempt. I do know, Jefferson, you can watch FAC, the prelims, or I believe there's four or five prelims on their Facebook and or YouTube channel. So the stream that we're doing later tonight, um, you can watch that. And a good takedown and reverse. That's like takedown reverse, almost judo throw there by Sabatino. He's in that modified Half guard, but top control here, laying down some elbows. Three minutes and 16 seconds left in this second round, folks. And what a fun fight to start this Cage Wars 144. Rome, Italy, baby. Mark Goddard already. Stay busy, stay busy. I do like Mark Goddard, but I have to say, after the MM MMA guru went at him a little bit, he's not my favorite ref anymore. Herzog surpassed him. And a very good job by McCulloch there. As Sabatino wanted to take the back. His reversal wasn't clean. McCulloch was able to get back up, but Sabatino, a good job of getting that takedown again right into the full guard of McCulloch. No modified half guard or anything here. He is Sabatino is in the full guard of McCulloch. Two minutes and 23 seconds left to go, and he's working in the full guard here. McCulloch trying to get the lock, that high lock above the back of the head of Sabatino. He's got one arm in, but Sabatino did a good job of attacking the body, pushing McCulloch up against the cage, and he passes. Does he pass to half? Yeah, he passes to half guard now. Side control. McCulloch trying to spin and staying right on him is Sabatino. Sabatino's ground game looks pretty good. Side control, back in the half guard. Trying to get the back take is Sabatino. Now he's got it. Now he's got the back. Sabatino's got McCulloch's back, trying to get his leg in. McCulloch trying to spin out of it. He almost did. He almost did. Sabatino, he's going to have to stay on. Sabatino, not doing a good job of sprawling here. Not doing a good job of scrambling as he instead... Now just get side control. I feel like Sabatino could do a little bit more in the sprawl here. He's he's definitely strong. So he still kind of has that side slash on the back. But one minute left. I don't think he's going to have enough time to sink in a rear naked, even if he fights with that back position. Sabatino and McCulloch are both cut up. I believe top of the nose for both these fighters. Again, Jefferson, I'm, so, I'm sorry I couldn't show you the fight, bro. Don't want to get my channel shut down here, but I highly recommend getting fight pass. And look, McCulloch now with the hooks and up against the cage. Back on their feet are both these fighters. 45 seconds left. McCulloch trying to get the takedown. Sabatino, in my opinion, won that first round. Dominant second round for Sabatino. McCulloch trying to get the takedown to at least score a little bit in this round on the judges' scorecards. If you're viewing on Twitter again, please migrate over to YouTube so you can A, join our live chat, and B, enter our contest. That's right. If you like the video on YouTube and jump in the live chat, even with a hello, you're automatically entering and winning our contest here. And McCulloch, ooh, tried to take the back of Sabatino, was a little bit careless, and ends up falling on his back here. Trying maybe to get an arm here, but Sabatino's making him pay with nine seconds left in this second round.
End of the second round, folks. Zoomer, yeah, after that Usman versus Colby fight, I grew to dislike Goddard. I don't know if people take steroids anymore, but real visible cheating, like faking nut shots and cage grabbing, get me heated. Yeah, I mean, look, that that's one. I'd say Goddard has had two, maybe three fights where he probably wants back as a referee. Now, he's never going to admit the Usman one, especially with the the whole mess of it that MMA Guru made, and it's a beautiful mess. I absolutely, I, I, I watched all of Dan Hardy's fucking movie of a response i mean i was in it okay i love that shit give me that drum all day baby but i will say i will say that overall especially if you look at the history of bad referees that the ufc has had especially if you look at how shitty herb dean is today like it's not even that he went from a great referee to like middle of the pack like herb dean is one of the worst right now not in the ufc in all of mma that's why one championship loves him because he just doesn't and the fights and one championship, they love their violence there. I'm sure, you know, if Ryzen paid him, he'd be there too. But uh, yeah, God, for me, it's Herzog 100% is the best, best. And that's not to say that Herzog hasn't had some blunders as well. Round three, folks. Let's get it all. But uh, for me, Herzog, Goddard, and Keith, Pe- was, uh, Keith Peterson, no nonsense. He's up there as well. What's up, Reborn? <laughs> Let's go, Sabatino. I think he's winning. I think he's winning. I think he... Did enough to win that first round. And I think he absolutely dominated that second round. The no-nonsense Keith Peterson. He's a good ref, too. Oh, very nice takedown by Sabatino. Beautiful takedown by Sabatino. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Grabs the leg, grabs the leg, and slam Muay Thai style. Sabatino definitely looks like a ground fighter. I don't know how much striking he's had in his past, but that was a nice little Muay Thai move there. Vicky, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining. 2.07 a.m. Well, I hope to see you later, Vicky, because we are doing FAC later tonight on this channel. It'll probably be, you know, morning slash early afternoon for you when when we're doing that. Vicky, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. In the full guard still of Michalik is Sabatino in front of his home crowd in Italy. Cage Wars 144. Side control now trying to get that back again. And Sabatino gets it. He has some hooks in. Standing up is Michalik. If anything, that just helps Sabatino here. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in this third round. Again, first round was close. It was more more of a close round. Actually, Michalik tags Sabatino with his second punch. Second punch. It was a beautiful left hook. But since then, it has all been Sabatino since he's recovered in the halfway point of that first round. So again, first first round. Uh, there might be some judges who score it for McCulloch. Fine. Even though Sabatino got that takedown. I truly believe that is Sabatino. Oh, McCulloch. Reverses now and get the takedown of them for himself halfway through the second round. But that second round was all Sabatino. Like, even if this round was close again, Sabatino, even like put it this way, if the first round and this third round or a draw, Sabatino did enough that second round to win this fight. Hands down, in my opinion. Let's see if one of them can get the finish here. Both of them are bleeding. Both of them are bleeding. And it looks like Sabatino now looking for that reversal. And he gets, I don't know if that counts as a takedown on the judge's scorecard, but he lands right. Into the half guard. Oh, so Mark Goddard actually stands them back up. So he didn't take a point away for Sabatino, but Sabatino, he either used the cage there. I missed it reading the chat, but he used the cage or something to illegally take Mahalik down. But now he takes McCulloch down, and he gets him in an arm triangle, and he's squeezing, folks. Okay, and he lets it go. That was a beautiful takedown. So Sabatino, after Mark Goddard warns him, saying, I'm going to take a point away if you do that again. I'm standing you both up. That that wasn't a fair takedown. Immediately takes down McCulloch. And a beautiful takedown it was. And was going for an arm triangle right off the bat. Patty the Batty, by the way. Former... Two-time Cage Warrior champion on... I don't know if he's going to be on the mic all night, but he's definitely on the mic right now for the prelims here. And what what a great event already. We're just in the first fight. At the end of the first fight here, Cage Warriors 144, Rome, Italy. (laughs) 
Sounds like you should have taken Sabatino on the money line. He's in a parlay, though. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, how many uh, KOs? Yeah, Sabatino only one KO TKO in his four professional fights. Sabatino trying to get that takedown again. I mean, this is this match, though these fighters are green, and I'll 100% say that there were mistakes made by both these fighters, clearly. This was a beautiful display of mixed martial arts all around, in my opinion. 48 seconds left. Can Sabatino get another takedown? Jefferson, I appreciate you joining, brother. And there we go. There's the takedown. Kind of an Iminari type role, but a takedown nonetheless. Ooh, that one count as a single leg for McCulloch. I don't think so. McCulloch desperately just holding on to the leg here. Now they're back to the ground. Sabatini looking for a guillotine, perhaps. Chest to the head of McCulloch is Sabatini. Now he's just laying some side of the head shots, some body shots. Reborn saying he's in an even parlay I have open, so I need him to get this win. I think Sabatini is getting this win, hands down, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. End of the fight, ladies and gentlemen, and a good display of respect by both of these fighters. Looks like McCulloch is a little more dejected. I think Sabatino knows that he won this one. Again, first, to, to recap this fight, ladies and gentlemen, to recap this fight, that first round. So the first combo that McCulloch throws, I believe a second or third punch, lands and actually doesn't knock down Sabatino, but you can see flashes him. Like, the lights were turned off for a second, and it took Sabatino about a minute to recover after taking a lot of damage, moving backwards. After that, it was all Sabatino, getting the better of the grappling exchanges, getting a takedown. Finally, I believe it was like his fourth attempt in that first round. Gets the takedown. Dominates. That second round in full. And then there was a back and forth third round contest, but I think he did more, more strikes, more of the dominant position, more of control time. What's up, Bowling in the Mix? Thank you so much for joining. By the way, remind everyone, like this video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. That's all you have to do to enter. 1 0, let's freaking go, Sabatini. Good way to start my parlay. MA refs are so conflicting lately. Some stand the fighters up after 30 seconds. Some wait 30 seconds too late to stop the fight. Yes, sir. Funkmaster fled the whole event. Prelims to main event is on Fight Pass. Thank you so much for joining. You have entered our contest, buddy. How do you like them apples, Funkmaster? Good display of respect by McCulloch. Emmanuel Sabatino. Opens up the card in front of Italy, wins unanimous decision. He improves his record to four and one. Big shout to Reborn, Ballin' in the Mix, Jefferson, Funk Master, Flay, Vicky, Zoomer, Loyalist, Peanuts, Brian, you all are amazing. Thank you so much for joining today live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. No problem, brother. And by the way, I hope to see you later as well, Funkmaster. We do live streams on this channel minimum twice a week. But this week we're doing four. We did uh, RJJ Boxing last night, Cage Warriors right now, FAC later tonight, and then Cage Fury tomorrow. There's no UFC. Usually UFC gets priority every Saturday, but we do BKFC, One Championship, PFL, Bellator, you name it, all here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. <laughs> Appreciate it, Funk Master. Appreciate it. All right. We waste no time here on Cage Warriors. On to the next preliminary fight. Solid walkout song. Love the red hot chili peppers. I know the bout orders were all changed around today, so let's see. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is it. This is the right one coming up. Middleweights next, ladies and gentlemen. And another Italian on the card. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, let us preview these next two Fighters, ladies and gentlemen. Yoan Arasti out of Spain. He makes the walkout right now. He's the one who's walking out to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Two wins, zero losses, one submission, one decision. He's fought in UAE Warriors and AFL. Only one fight as an amateur. Thirty-one years old, six feet tall. Again, weighed in at 183 pounds. 
for this 185 middleweight contest. As we look at his opponent out of Italy, Dario Blandi. Blandi. <laughs> Sorry about the names, folks. Two and one, both of his victories. KO, TKO, he lost his last fight in his Cage Warriors debut. Cage Warriors won 19 to Will Curry before then. Obviously won his first professional fights, RDC fight night. Both of uh, both of his wins coming in RDC. A ton of amateur experience, so holy shit. Fifteen and two on the amateur scene. He walks out to Queen. We will rock you. Both of these fighters walking out to <laughs> tremendous walkout songs. Tremendous walkout songs. Six three stands Dario weighed in at a hundred and eighty six pounds. No odds on my screen for both of these fighters. Hmm. Who am I picking? Who am I picking? I'm going with the Italian again, folks. I'm going with Dario. Though he, he's a little heavier. He probably cut a little bit to come in here. He's a little he's a little bit more doughy compared to his Spain his Spanish opponent. But he's in front, he's in front of his Italian crowd. He's walking out to Queen. I mean, you gotta be pumped up. You gotta be pumped up. Jefferson going with the Rasty? I'm going with Belandi. Got you, man. Love the energy. And I took Sabatino money line. So we started off tonight, right? Let's go, baby. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. This man about to get his first L. I'm going with Dario. I'm going with Dario. Funk Master saying the Spanish man is getting his first L. This one looks like a tough pick. Oh, good display of respect there. Go I, I fucking love this song. This song almost gets me as amped up for a sporting event. Almost as much as the American National Anthem. And I'm Canadian. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm just going to share this quickly on Twitter. Reminder to like this video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Yes, once we get to 50 likes on the video and or. So there's two opportunities for you to win. 950 subscribers here on the channel. We will give away some merchandise to two lucky folks who commented in the live chat. It doesn't matter if you commented once or 100 times. Once you comment, you get one entry. Even if you comment 100 times, you get one entry. At the end of the stream, if we hit either or both of, both of our goals, we quickly randomly select through a little generator that I got here. Randomly select two names, and we give away some prizes up for win freestyle. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. So if that's not incentive to just say hello in the live chat, I don't know what is, folks. And if you're viewing on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. And so you can enter our contest as well, Twitter. They ended their partnership with Periscope, so you cannot comment anymore on Twitter. And we ain't giving away anything for people who are on Twitter. Round one! Let's get it on! Let's get it on. What a nice overhand right by RSD. RSD's in the blue tape. The Italian in the red. I'm just finishing sharing this on Twitter. Keep the comments coming. We address them as you know, folks. Center of the octagon are both of these fighters right now. Still gauging some timing. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. Ooh, an overhand right opportunity. By the Spanish fighter. I'll get their names up here in a sec. Good combo entry by the Italian. Just sprinkled Blandi. Money line. Let's go. Dario as well. Ooh, Dario with a nice combo. 
Left hook, outside low kick, followed by the right hook, followed by a left hook, and Dario now gets the body lock and gets the takedown, does the Italian, right into side control. Right in the streak, says balling in the mix. Strength in numbers, let's go, baby! <laughs> You are all amazing again. This is so much fun. I love growing this fight community, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're growing a fight community here on this channel. Oh, and now a takedown by Oresti into the half guard of Balandi. Controlling the right arm of Oresti is Dario. Dario looks comfortable on the ground in these opening seconds. Keep the comments coming, folks. You know it's a comment-driven live stream. I absolutely love the interaction. Live commentary, live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, and, of course, live interaction with all you amazing folks here in the live chat. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Back of the head, downward. Was that downward elbow by Arasti? Two minutes and 20 seven seconds and oh yeah back of the head downward motion elbow as Belandi was trying to sit back up honest mistake I imagine Belandi doesn't look too banged up but yeah fair point has to be taken away for that that was a clear shot back of the head elbow we're actually not upset about it they shake hands again we are back to it Yeah, right to the back. Of the, no, no DQ. I think just because it was like, it was totally unintentional. Well, I mean, we, we shall see. I, I don't think it was intentional there. If anything else happens. Oh, nice left hook by Rasti. Blandy, though, is the one walking forward. You can definitely see the reach and height advantage of Blandy here, folks. Nice fake left jab and outside low kick by Blandy. One minute and 54 seconds left. In this first round, shout out to everyone watching. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Once we hit 50 likes on the video, oh, left hook by Rasti! Left hook by, by Rasti, and that actually looked like it rocked Blandi. And instead, instead, Rasti decides to go for the takedown, and now Blandi has him in a guillotine. Let goes of the guillotine, goes for the tie clinch. Now they're just clinch fighting here up against the cage. Arasti lost Reborn. He lost that point. Still just grappling back and forth with the dominant position up against the cage. Hey, the refs are... They're on top of it here in Cage Warriors. I like it. Again, if you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Who's winning? That's a good question. I mean, obviously, since uh, Arasti got his point taken away, Blandi has done you know absolutely enough to win this first round. I mean, it would be a close round without the point taken away. With the point taken away, no doubt Blandi's winning this round. Balling in the mix. Well, it's only the first round. So Spain's still in this fight with the point being taken away. I mean, sure, he he looks solid. He's looked fine in the, in this first round. I mean, like I said, it, it it's a, it's a essentially an even fight, if not for that point. Oh, and a head kick lands by Belandi, but he slips after landing, and Arasti takes advantage of that and gets right on top of him. Save by the bell. I am unfamiliar with the ref of this one. I don't. I haven't seen him in uh, much in the UFC, if at all. I mean, I I can't recognize him off the top of my head, upon first glance. All right. So recap of that first round. The combos. So the the kickboxing of Belandi is is beautiful. Mixing in the leg kicks, the inside, the low kicks, the head kicks. He landed on one good head kick. Belandi looks more complete on the feet. Definitely, Oresti's got just that brute brawling power, and his hooks. When they landed, seemed to like you know, flash, or uh, or Blandy a little bit there. Arasti though, after taking a clean head kick, 
doesn't even seem phased. Rasti had the downward elbow when he did have top position. Top position went back and forth. Control time was back and forth between both of these fighters. So yeah, this one, Blandy wins because of the point getting taken away. It would have been a pretty even round regardless. Round two. Let's get it all! Let's see if Arasti plays or fights with a little bit more urgency here. Since he knows he's probably down a round. Despite having a very, very good first round. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment during the live stream. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We only have 15 likes, folks. We only have 15 likes. I know we're on here for another four to five hours, but come on. Let's get those likes going. Oh, and catching the leg of Belandi is Arasti. Punches Belandi and takes him down right into side control. That is exactly what Arasti needs early in this fight. Triangle choke. Arasti getting caught in a triangle choke of Belandi. It's not super clean here. He can either go for the triangle or go for the arm bar. Triangle, it's tight. Belandi, and it's all over! He's gonna finish it! it. Oh, oh, Belandi, from his back! From his back gets the triangle! Oh, oh, He's saying, oh, 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 calm down, everybody. Calm down. Boom! What a way! What a way! To counter! Oh, Rassi looks so defeated here, but I mean, the guy did a good job. Of coming out strong, he's pissed. He's pissed at himself. Belandi, I like his... Wow. And B Belandi had two opportunities there. He, he had the arm. Because the triangle wasn't... It wasn't square. He had the triangle a little bit shifted there. So all oh, that grip was tight, baby. And he had the arm. Like, if he would have gotten out of the triangle, just move a little bit to the left, extend the arm, push against the shoulders. Boom. Done. Beautiful, beautiful. This Belandi guy is sick. From his on his feet, he looked good. On his back, he looked good. Damn. Wow, man. <laughs> fuck that streak's like as fuck. No more cage warriors betting. That was beautiful. Italians go two for two tonight. Let's go. Damn. Guys, it's hard to bet on MMA anyways. UFC at least has some cleaner odds. Bellator, PFL, LFA, one. You guys bet on that. You're crazy. Crazy in the best way. I absolutely love you all. Don't get me wrong. I bet UFC, but that's about it. Oh, I should have bet one, though. I, I crushed my one picks last... One on uh, Amazon. Again, Patty Pimblet on the broadcast here. Color commentary. Starting to look a little leaner now as Patty back at training. Folks, apparently his next fight's going to be announced soon. About to get me some Italian loafers. I bet everything. Atta boy, Funkmaster. Atta boy. Funkmaster, I'm so glad that you're joining us here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Like I said, we stream a minimum twice a week. We streamed five times last week. We're streaming four times this week. Let's go. Whoops, wrong thing. By the way, if you guys want to get your suggestions in for sound bites for the, the sound pad here, you know, let me know. Let me know. Just comment on any of my videos on my channel. Last UFC, I got smoked on my bets. Last UFC, I finished, I think, about 60-some percent, 65%. So I didn't do that great either. Santiago, who win? Who won the last one? Dario Balandi won the last one, baby. So unfortunately, the Spanish man lost the last fight. All right, I am going to, as you know, there's... There's no rest here in Cage Warriors. We are on to the next fight, ladies and gentlemen. The last fight on the prelims before we move to the main card. And these walkout songs are absolute fire, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute fire. 
to all my picks thus far. I got Zakaria here. Told you you'd get that L. All right, we're, we're going to run down the fighters right now, folks. Literally right now, we're going to run them down. We're going to talk about their fighting style. We're going to talk about their past record. I'll give my predictions, and then I want to hear yours. Don't forget to vote on our poll question, too, in the live chat. And please, please, folks, I know there's like over 20 of you watching uh, a little bit ago. We only have 15 likes on the video. Like the video, folks. If you like the video and drop a comment in the live chat, you are automatically entered into winning some prizes. It's as easy as that, folks. It's as easy as that. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right. Emanuele Zakari against Bo Bogdan Barbu. Zakari, the Italian, four and one. In his professional mixed martial arts career. Running a two-fight win streak. He's 28 years old, 134 pounds, stands 5'7". His opponent, out of Romania, Bogdan Barbu. Lost his last fight before then one before then was on a two fight losing streak. Lost rear naked choke. Lost in KSW unanimous decision. He's fought in RXF, Eagles, KSW, and lost his Cage Warriors debut. 17 13 and 0. Oh, is the veteran Barbu going up against Zakari the thug who is unranked <laughs> in Cage Warriors, but he is four and one in his professional mixed martial arts career? Who do you got in this one, folks? Who do you got in this one? Let me know in the live chat as we uh, take a look at the live chat here now. Uh, Zakari is on my two parlay. So for me, it's Zakari for the win. Locking it in. Thanks for the last pick. I was going to pass on that one. Same here, Jefferson. I have him on, a th on three parlays. Get that win, baby. Let's go. Is he the favorite? I can't. I, I just have topology up right now. Is he the favorite tonight? Last fight on the prelims before we get to the main card, folks. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. We do fight companions all week. We have three or two more coming up after this. We have FAC tonight as well as Cage Fury tomorrow. We have giveaways on all of our live streams. On every single one of our live streams, we give merchandise and MMA-based prizes to you amazing people joining us. So like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and boom, that's all you have to do to enter the prize or enter the contest. We'll announce a winner if we hit 50 likes on the video. We'll announce another winner winner if we get to 950 subscribers on the channel by the end of this stream. Minus 125. Okay, okay. I'm feeling a little confident too. Well, I'm two for two going Italian. We're going three for three, Zakari, baby. Let's go. All right, keep talking amongst yourself, folks. I'm just going to share this quickly on Twitter. If you're new to the channel, we run down the fighters before every fight. Live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with you amazing folks here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. All right, being announced in the center of the octagon are these 135ers headlining the prelims here. Cage Wars 144, Rome, Italy. Scars on minus 130 on DK. Oh, DraftKings has Cage Wars? Hell yeah, baby. Pretty much coin toss. Yeah, veteran against young gun in front of his home crowd, right? I mean, and, and what a beautiful storyline that is. If you're viewing on Twitter, what is up? Thank you for viewing. Migrate over to YouTube. It's literally commented on this video that you're watching on Twitter. Migrate over to YouTube, the City Light Project YouTube channel, so you can A, join our live chat, and B, enter to win some prizes. You can't enter on Twitter. I'm sorry, but you just can't. Twitter, they're a bunch of bitches. They took away Periscope. They took away the comment aspect of it, so you have to come over to YouTube. 
So get your ass over here already if you're on Twitter. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for joining. All right. We're about to get this going, folks. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Feature prelim in Zakari with a beautiful combo right off the bat. Two hooks and a head kick. Clinched up as a result is Barbu. And Zakari elects to pull guard standing up right off the bat. And he pulls guard right down to go for an arm bar. Oh my goodness. A nice sweep. By the veteran and in the full guard of Zakari. Wow. Is Barbu. That was quick. That was quick. Go Italy. My God one said Dara. What's up? Let's go. <laughs> Triangle choke now. Now heel hook. Heel hook. You can definitely tell. Emmanuel, and that's it! He's gonna finish it! He's gonna finish it! Oh my god! He's kidding me! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Italy, stand up! I didn't have enough time to even tweet this link! Just like that! Heel hook and Barbu! 17, 14, and 0! Oh. oh my goodness! I gotta get that Mumbo Italiano song on my on my soundbite board here because this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to make a reaction video for Cage Warriors because I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna turn my mic down too. Sorry if I'm just destroying your folks' eardrums right now, but this is insane. <laughs> Cash that money, Italy. Let's go, baby. Holy hell, Shane. Too bad you're asleep, motherfucker. This is unbelievable. Wow. Even Patty was blown away for this one, folks. Wow. And, I mean, if he would have twisted any more, that knee would have been destroyed. Wow. I'm speechless. That was so quick. Wow, I'm just sharing. That was quick on Twitter. Wow. Damn, his wife's a fox. Whew. Win win, baby. <laughs> Boom. Well, look at this. Look at this. Those in my chat today. Did you did you expect three for three Italians thus far? Did you expect to make the money that you've been making thus far? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Three for three on the prelims. Woo hoo hoo! And exciting fights, nonetheless. Welcome, everybody. If you're just joining us live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel, I appreciate it. We have fight companions all week. We have another one tonight, FAC 16 tonight. Then we have Cage Fury tomorrow. Basically, what we do on this channel is before every fight, we run down the fighters, talk about their fighting style, their records, anything you need to know about the fighters. I give my prediction. Then we, you know, hear yours. We read yours in the live chat. We discuss then I give live commentary, live play-by-play, -play, reaction, interaction throughout the fights. And then we keep the show going. Again, if you're new to the channel, we do contests. We do giveaways on every single live stream. Every single one. So you always have a chance to win some prizes, folks. MMA memorabilia and City Life Project merchandise. So all you have to do to enter is like this video and drop a comment in the live chat. Just say, what's up? Just say, how's it going? I am from India. Please give me the giveaway. Will you have a chance? You 100% have a chance. <laughs> Since you commented in the live chat. 
Marlon Z, AO, new sub, appreciate you coming hard with a lot of these MMA events, my G. You, you better believe it, Marlon. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Yeah, man, we're supporting fighters on all the, all the promotions. You know, some of the ones that you don't really hear about, we want to give them some love here. We want to highlight them. We're hoping to get some more fighter interviews as well on this channel too. Some of those fighters who do fight in those lower promotions. So yeah, we're doing not just UFC, not just the big guns, but we're doing all of them. I mean, we had RJJ freaking boxing last night for fuck's sake. So Marlon, thank you so much for joining my man. I appreciate it. Desegni, the stripper, getting a finish? <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> Potentially comment of the night. <laughs> All right. Uh, just going to take a quick break here, folks. As we head to the main card, we're going to take a quick break. But again, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. You all are amazing. Italian rules. I mean, tonight, you guys are crushing it. Designy wins. Look at that. We already got some predictions. We already got some confident predictions. Folks, I'm literally just going to fill up my coffee cup. And as soon as, what is it? We'll say in the fight after this one, in the second fight on the main card, I'm going to switch from coffee to beer because then it's officially the afternoon. It's officially my weekend. I'm going to fill up my coffee mug. We're going to turn the page to the main card. Don't go anywhere, folks. Talk amongst yourselves. We've just created a fight community here with amazing fight fans from all around the world. So talk amongst yourselves. I will be right back to take your comments, to run down the next fighters, to continue to give live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with you amazing folks in this stream. If you can't find it, you can watch it on Fight Pass. Ask your community if there's anywhere else to, to watch it if you're in the UK. We will be right back here. Look at that. Patty to Batty on the commentary on the live broadcast. Don't go anywhere. If you're on Twitter, get your ass over to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, sit back, relax for two minutes. We will see you right back here on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Like, subscribe, comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We'll be back to tee up this first fight on the main event on the other side. Just to cruise it Shawty said she love me But it's fresh and never prove it I 
never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. Rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do City Life Project YouTube channel for Cage Warriors 144, Rome, Italy, ladies and gentlemen. And how about Cage Warriors thus far? How about Cage Warriors thus far? I know we had some people in the chat. Some people in the chat be like, haven't watched Cage Warriors before. How are you liking it now? It, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not the best, feeder league to the UFC, it's a step above RFA. I mean, it's a, it's a, sorry, LFA. It's a step above, I mean, a lot of the other lesser, I don't even want to say lesser, but smaller promotions that even we broadcast here on the City Life Project YouTube channel, the production's good. I would say the talent is as good as the PFL. You know, maybe, maybe a step behind Bellator, but it's definitely as good as the PFL in my opinion, folks. Anyways, let me know what you think about Cage Warriors. I mean, such a great feeder league to the UFC. If you haven't already liked the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We will tee up the next two fighters here in a moment as Cage Warriors 144 continues and we move to the main card of the evening. 
Again, I appreciate, you know, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to everyone in the chat here before I catch up on your comments. Because you all are amazing. Um, Hoppy, Jefferson, Peanuts, Brian, Zoomer Loyalist, Reborn, Vicky, Ballin' in the Mix, Funk Master. Who am I missing? Uh, Santiago. Dario. Animesh, Marlin, of course, who was singing my praise. Mirko. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, and Colby just entered the chat. What is up, Colby? All right, let me catch up on the comments here. I -o. You're the man, buddy. Thank you so much. That energy is contagious. How can I not get hyped now, <laughs> baby? Cage Warriors, let's go! Thoughts on a finish? She's minus 450, which is steep for women's cage warriors. Money line bet. Um, are you talking about uh Desegni? I mean, she trains out of Jackson and Wink. 115. I mean, you don't see too many finishes at 115 pounds, <laughs> not named, you know, Whaley <laughs> in the UFC. I wouldn't lean towards a finish personally. I, I never really do. I never really lean on that in women's mixed martial arts. But uh, but we shall see. Oh, give me one sec. My freaking... My freaking stream, it just changed over. I have to click the, lot, the, the main event now. So just give me one sec. I'm literally... I'm still here, so keep the comments coming. I'm right here. Literally just have to make a stupid change on my computer. Switch from the prelims to the main event. I should have did that in the break. All right, here we go. With the intros and all now. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. All right, all right. And look, they're just going through freaking please stay tuned shit anyways, so I didn't really miss anything. <clears throat> bah, 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 bah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, MMA Guru, check out his list. Uh, I wouldn't kick her out of bed. <laughs> Parlay peace. <laughs> oh, I love our chat. You guys are hilarious. Gonna sprinkle you two, one and a half for some plus money. <laughs> My man, Colby, really wish I could stream the fights from your biggest issue is the time difference. Colby, do you have Fight Pass? This one is actually being held in Rome right now. It's Cage Warriors, which is a European, it's, it's an English fight league. Uh, that's where Patty the Batty, uh, Conor McGregor, Molly McCann, they all came from. I think Paul Craig even fought in Cage. Did Paul Craig fight in Cage Warriors? He must have. Um, anyways, and uh, it's this one's not broadcasting on youtube is broadcasting on uh ufc fight pass i do I, I look at twitter though colby because i know cage warriors was tweeting out links for europeans and i know the ufc now is starting to do that as well for europeans they're starting to make more links available whether it's not through fight pass but through a different service or something like that colby my buddy in Prague, hanging out there the if you need a haircut by the way hit up colby the best goddamn barber ever. And check out his freaking vlog, too. Check out his vlog. Uh, Colby is actually Kyle's brother, uh, by the way, folks. Kyle, the co-creator of this channel, as you all know. Reborn saying she's going to get the finish. Okay, listen to Reborn. I haven't, to be honest, I maybe seen her fight once. Uh, it's not a good bet, though, yeah. Uh, so, Colby... I know for you, it's not tonight. I don't know what the time difference is, but a, a lot of them do. And I post the links for a lot of them, at least the prelims. So for example, LFA, so that's a feeder league to the UFC. They post at least two fight prelims on their Facebook page or YouTube. I always post the links on our community channel to make sure everyone knows. Uh, unfortunately, Cage Wars is just on UFC Fight Pass. Do you see Fight Pass, by the way? It's only seven bucks a month. And you get a ton of uh, feeder leagues to the UFC that they broadcast as well as the Fight Pass prelims, about two or three prelims 
And if it's a fight night, so a non-pay-per-view, it's all on, uh, at least the prelims anyways, are all on Fight Pass. If it's not on an ESPN or a TSN, they're all on there as well. So long and the short of it, Fight Pass is worth it, in my opinion, if you're like Kyle and you're just a fight junkie. Um, and what's even cooler, Colby, is Amazon now has some of the rights to one championship. So one championship is doing special Amazon Prime cards. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can rewatch or watch some of the fights there. And in my opinion, one championship is the is the best martial arts slash fight promotion out there. It, if you're a fan of if all martial arts, if you're a fan of just stand up and Muay Thai more than grappling too, then then that that's for you. However, they also have grappling as well as one championship. Colby on their cards will have just straight submission grappling matches, straight Muay Thai, straight kickboxing, and straight MMA. It's unbelievable. So Amazon Prime, I know you have Amazon Prime. Everyone does. Uh, both of the uh, M- both of the one championship cards are on there. The full card. So I highly recommend going and checking those out. And then, yeah, Fight Pass. Um, I don't know if I... Kyle, I'm, Tim might have an account, so maybe just ask him too. But I uh, highly recommend getting it. it it's, it's the best fight streaming service, and it just gives you access to to most of the stuff that we're going to be streaming on this channel outside the pay-per-views and, and, and anything that's like TSN or ESPN stuff. But uh, again, everyone, can't say this enough. Travels with Colby. Um, he's in Prague right now traveling. He's a good buddy of mine. He's Kyle's little brother. And he's uh, he's making a vlog and then really doing some work on his YouTube stuff too. So if you dig my vibe, you'll definitely dig Colby's vibe. And if you're in Prague, hit him up. He's the best damn barber there. How do you like all that plug, Colby? And you didn't even have to pay for that shit. Uh, took a small position on it. So based on percentages, there's one more dog on the card to cash who you got. Again, I don't have any of the betting odds for this one. Uh, if I bring up DraftKings or BetMGM, it slows my stream down like crazy. They're just two fucking websites that have so, that just like punch Google Chrome into a different millennia. So I just choose not to show them because I'd rather have a nice 1080p stream. Usually Tapology has uh, some for some of the bigger promotions. They don't for this one. So I'm going to leave it up to you folks to give me with, hit me up with the betting odds. Fucking rights, Colby. I appreciate it, man. And by the way, and how what time is it in Prague, by the way, right now, Colby? Folks, it is 11.58. I said I would crack this once the afternoon hit. This is a Tofino Brewing Ethereal IPA. Shout out, Tofino Brewing. It is officially afternoon. It is officially my weekend. Don't worry, Maddie and Jamstreet. I got a few things I have to post still, but it's pretty much the weekend. Let's freaking go. Let's start this fight weekend off, folks, right with some beer. Now, I don't encourage drinking at all, YouTube. I'm doing this for the purpose of education as I'm going to talk a little bit about this ethereal IPA as we uh, as we sip on it throughout this live stream. So there you go. There you go. I watched one last week. I enjoyed it. There you go. There you go. The only dog with a chance of winning, in my opinion, Pedro Soli over Flaminas, although I only took him in one parlay. One kind of shitty thing is in Prague, the websites are super shit and they block a lot here. They sort of limit what you're able to see online. Well, I know right now that um that it, like the former or not the former, the, the current light heavyweight champion in the UFC is from Prague or outside of Prague, if I'm not mistaken. So I know that they're doing a better job of broadcasting fights, whether it's like Maybe even KSW or some some of the kickboxing out east. Um, I'll look into that for you, Cole, because now I'm a little curious too. Because I know out there, like fighting is pretty big. I know hockey is like the mecca out there, kind of like Canada. It's like mini Canada in that like Prague, and just hockey in that country in general is just like that. That is, it's bigger than soccer, right? Um, and and Yuri Prohaska has even said that the champion in the UFC, he said that like you know it's it's hockey first, you know Yarmir Yager, he's the legend, and then it's you know fighting and other sports like that. But I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's some like websites and stuff like that where it's easier to find it. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. Um, I can't Colby. Like I know this is just like me talking on the fly here, but I got to talk to your brother. I'd love for you just to be a character on the channel, buddy. 
like hit me up with some of your footage, edit it or not. We'll we'll post some of it up on our channel. So it's kind of like, you know, a little bit of win-win. We get some content from Prague, but we also you, we don't get to show off the full stuff. You have to go to your channel to see the full video, things like that. Uh, love to collaborate. Get two mudges on the channel. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, that, that's a good hedge. It's almost 9 o'clock there in Prague. Okay, so Colby, by the time you wake up in about 7 hours, 7 to 8 hours, we'll be starting the next live stream, FAC, where you can watch the prelims on Facebook and or YouTube. So there you go. Dude, Jefferson, welcome to the community here. Shane, you just missed, honestly, some of the best prelims that I've seen in a while in uh, in promotions not named the UFC. Shane, I hope, uh, hope to see you on FAC later today, buddy. Actually, an NHL game here right now. Love. There you go. There you go. Kaora Mpieza, I have no idea what you're saying, but I am. I'm assuming you're asking where can I watch this UFC Fight Pass. Let's go, baby. Yeah, man, I'd love to be a guest for you guys. Mudge Squared, dude, that could be like a segment too. Mudge Squared, where it's just you and Kyle doing whatever, whether it's like podcast from afar when they when you come back home. And I say home now because we all know you're moving back to Vancouver Island when you do come back, right? Um, all right, well, I'll talk to Kyle more, Colby. We'll, we'll all talk together because I know I got to help you with some fucking thumbnail shit anyway soon. And then uh, we'll all talk about that because we'd love to feature you on the channel and just add to our vlog arsenal on the channel as I'm kind of running the streams here and Kyle's doing a good job with the vlogs. By the way, Travels with Colby. It's going to be Travels with Isha soon because I leave doing a United States road trip and I'm driving all the way to Minnesota Right after we see Kenny versus Spenny live on the 14th. Get the coin. Oh, what time is it to be? So it, the fight should start, honestly, within the next five minutes. The intro to the broadcast just started on Fight Pass, so I imagine the fights here will start in a moment. If you're asking what time is it for me, it is exactly noon, 12 o'clock p.m., Pacific time here on beautiful Vancouver Island, British Columbia. If you're new to the channel, folks, welcome. We will run down both of these fighters here in a moment. I'll get my official predictions. I've already got a lot of predictions here in the live chat, so I thank you for that. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do fight companions every single week, up to four, five, maybe even six sometimes a week. This week we're doing four. And uh, yeah, we do giveaways on our live streams. It's live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live interaction, of course, reaction with you beautiful people here in the live chat. Every single stream we do giveaways. So like the video and drop a comment in the live chat and boom, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. If we hit 50 likes on the video or 950 subscribers at the end of this Cage Warriors live stream, we will give away some prizes to you lucky folks in the live chat doesn't matter if you commented once or a hundred times you get one entry if you've commented you're automatically entered when we hit 50 likes when we hit 950 subscribers at the end of this live stream we will randomly select two winners where are we at with the likes right now 23 likes on the videos all right almost halfway there almost halfway there i know we can get it i know we can get it Time for bed. Have a good night slash day, everyone. Catch you on the flip. Literally, Colby, I'm streaming like nine hours straight here today, so I'll see you probably when you're waking up eating breakfast. I'm going to be here live streaming FAC 16, baby. Let's go en route to a 1,000 subs. <laughs> everyone subscribe to Travels with Colby. Let's go. All right, here we go. The intro. To the first fight on the main event. Oh, Wooding's dropped from minus 250 to minus 205. Interesting. All right. Let us now intro both of these fighters here, folks. Miko DeSegni. Did I say it right now? DeSegni? Miko DeSegni, 34 years old, nine wins, four losses. Fighting out of Jackson and Wink. She lost her last fight in. Aries FC, 
Before then, went on a two-fight win streak in AFL Inventor FC. I'm trying to see if she's... Okay, so she's making her Cage Warriors debut. Oh, never mind. She she beat Corey McKenna in Cage Wars 97 back in 2018. Corey McKenna obviously made her way into the UFC after having a, a successful Cage Warriors run. As an amateur, DeSegni went 4-1. and one. She won her first professional fight, lost her second, then went on a five-fight win streak where she beat Corey McKenna in Cage Warriors before going to Brave FC, DITC, lost on Contender Series Season 3, went on a two-fight win streak after that before her loss in Aries, and here she is tonight. Her opponent, Brioni Tyrell, out of Sam Southampton, Hampshire, England, Four wins, four losses, one draw, one KO, TKO, one submission, two decision. She is on a freaking three fight losing streak. She lost to Molly McCann in Cage Warriors. She lost in four MTC 27. Whatever the fuck that is. She lost in Bellator. And before going on that three fight losing streak, she was in a majority draw. So three fight win streak to start a professional career, then lost, then won, then draw, then three fight losing streak. She really needs a win to not go under 500 in her professional career. On the regional scene, she went two, four, five, and two. So not surprised this uh, DeSegni is the favorite here, despite. You know, not having a ton of experience in MMA over Tyrell. But on the regional scene and, and uh, amateur is a ton of experience. Yes, FAC 16 is on Fight Pass and the prelims are also on Fight Pass, but also on YouTube and Facebook. James Krause's Fighting Alliance Championship, baby. DeSegni, the Italian... Making her walk out here. I'm going to Segni. I'm three for three on Italians with my predictions right now. Let's freaking go. She's the favorite. Fired up in front of the home crowd. Her opponent's on a three freaking fight losing streak. I don't care if her opponent is, you know, fired up. And is letting that, you know, fuel her to try to get that win. I think to Segni. In front of this Italian crowd is going to get it done at Cage Wars 144, Rome, Italy. FAC on YouTube and I think Facebook Live as well. Yeah, but just the prelims, I think. I think. Check out my community uh, tab here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. I posted the links to everything. Four in a row, let's go! Exactly that. All right, folks, final predictions. Let me know in the live chat who you got winning this one. I got the Italian with the crazy, gorgeous back tattoo. Hell yeah, DeSegni. She actually made it to Contender Series, which is awesome. And I imagine, you know, when she hangs up the gloves here in Cage Wars, whenever that is, I mean, is she not the perfect type of fighter? And women fighter, but just fighter in general for BKFC, at least one pay-per-view. <laughs> Not to pigeonhole BKFC, because I actually applaud what BKFC is doing all around. See Ben Rothwell. <laughs> the laugh is back with Big Ben. All right, I'm just going to quickly share this on Twitter, folks. And then we will get right into this fight as they're both getting checked right now. By the cut man making their way into the octagon. How you folks digging cage wars? I know a lot of you in the chat were new to even watching cage warriors today. It's a great promotion. They put on a hell of a show. The broadcast is great. The fights are for the most part, pretty great. 42 years old? 
for killer b tyrell oh my god i thought this uh segni was gonna be the older fighter at 34 42 years old that's crazy Desegni wins, folks. Come on. They're... She has to win. She has to win this one. If you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, folks. We're totally interactive here. Forty-two years old. Yeah, I can't believe that. It's not listed here, as you can see on Tapology, and neither on uh, SureDog. <laughs> Jefferson uh, guys like Tracy Cortez I mean come on okay MMA Guru's tier list he did a good job I mean looking to fight past IVSPN plus already well like I have I have TSN too for some of those because I'm in Canada for some of those um fight nights right fight pass not only gets you some of the fight nights in their entirety, but it gets you the fight pass prelims, the prelims that you can't see on ESPN plus. It also gets you all these other promotions, LFA cage warriors, FAC. I mean, uh, Jorge Masvidal's, um, the submission grappling. You get the entire strike force and pride catalog. I mean, it's unbelievable. And after in like a week or two after pay-per-views, you get those access to those as well. All right, folks, here we go. Live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with all you folks. Let's get it on! Round one, let's get it on. And the red is DeSegni. And the blue tape is Tyrell. Center of the cage right now. I like this big cage, too, the Cage Warriors has. None of that Apex UFC shit. None of that LFA shit. Tremendous shape are both of these fighters. And DeSegni landing with the combos early. Kind of pushing Tyrell into the cage. And she tried to clinch up. Doesn't. Back to the center of the octagon. And you can see, I mean, the younger fighter, Desegni, is just way sharper, way quicker with her combos here. Not that Tyrell really has thrown anything yet. But you can see, I mean, just those soft left hooks. I mean, there's nothing there. I don't care if you're gauging timing or not. Oh, and there we go on the entry again for Desegni landing. I think already the nose of Tyrell's busted up a bit. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. And like the video. There's 30 of you right now watching. I appreciate you all. You're amazing. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat, even if it's just hello, for a chance to win some prizes. When we get to 50 likes on the video and or 950 subscribers, those are our goals here today. If we hit either of those goals, we will give away some prizes to some lucky folks who, comment, who commented in the live chat. You all are amazing. <laughs> Funkmaster, thanks so much. Sorry I missed that. Nice outside low kick for, De for DeSegni. 23 likes on the video. We're almost halfway there, folks. I know we can do it. Like the video. Let's go. Again, once we get to 50, I'm going to give you folks prizes. Eating a lot of shots early is Tyrell. I wish I had the live count here for Cage Warriors, unfortunately. ESPN does provide it for the UFC, PFL, and Dana White Contender Series, but I don't get live stats for, for much else, so I apologize. I'm still looking. I might just have to invent an app. Anyone want to go in on me with that? <laughs> for the purpose of these live streams? Center of the Octagon. These women haven't gone to the ground yet. Tyrell, though, her nose is busted up and it's bleeding. And it looks like Desegni is looking for that finishing shot there. Desegni setting a tremendous pace here. Two minutes left in the first round. Oh, yeah. If DeSegni lands a head kick, she can maybe knock her out. I don't know if her overhands have enough power, though. But again, I didn't know Tyrell was in her 40s. Okay? <laughs> that changes everything. 
Center of the octagon again. One minute and 44 seconds left. It's a one-sided fight, but at least there's action here. And catching the leg of Tyrell was DeSegni. Let's it go and just Alexa throw, throw some hands. Anyways, if, if you're new to the channel, if you're just joining, welcome to the Sea Light Project YouTube channel. We do fight companions all week. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction and interaction with you amazing folks here in the live chat. Like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. And boom, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. If we hit our goal of 50 likes and or, that's right, we give away prizes like Oprah and or 950 subscribers here on the channel, we will give away some prizes to some lucky folks who comment in the live chat. You comment once or 100 times, it doesn't matter. You get in once, you get one entry to randomly be selected to win some prizes. Josh, what's going on? Sub only mode equals L. All right, all right. I'll tell you one thing. It equals a win because the community that we're building right now is unbelievable. And you can always unsubscribe if you want, Josh. But uh, Josh is the only one who's given us an L thus far. In how many streams? I think I've done 29 streams. Josh is the only one giving us an L, so... Uh, wah, wah, wah. Emotional damage. It cost Josh his soul. It cost Josh his soul, baby. Josh gets the L. Josh gets the L for, for telling us that our community sucks. Josh, you get the L because you, you are discounting our community. A shot at me is a shot at our community here. So L for Josh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. My name's Isha, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. End of the first round here. Exciting first round. One-sided first round, though. The odds makers, they had this one in the books. Again, I had no idea that Tyrell was in her 40s going into this. Tapology didn't have it. Sure Dog didn't have her age. Just looking at some of the replays here. Desegni, she hasn't landed any of those over over uh overhand rights though. I know I'm just messing with you, Josh. <laughs> I didn't say anything about the community of your stream. <laughs> he said it was an L. He said it was an L. A shot at me, a shot at us is a is a shot at the community, Josh. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Dude, we're super loose here. It's just like if we're at a bar watching fights. I tell everybody, Josh, I'm here watching fights anyways. Like, I'm watching... I'm watching fucking RJJ boxing on a Thursday night on Fight Pass. Let's get it on! Round two, let's get it on. And, uh, and I'm streaming to, like, four people. I don't give a fuck. It's like, might as well get the watch hours. Might as well just build a fight community. For those who are watching... I mean, we did have some people who were just watching boxing last night. Family members of some of the boxers. And I love just highlighting some of the promotions that aren't, you know, the UFC, the big ones. Obviously, though, we do stream UFC and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, man, just trying, just trying to find my niche here on YouTube. So, uh, again, a shot at me is a shot at the community, Josh. So watch yourself <laughs> when you're throwing L's around like that. But, uh, but at the end of the day, welcome, and we like having you here. Our community really is awesome. And I know, what, it's a midday on Friday here on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. So it's not the biggest, biggest community. But whenever we do uh, one championship and things like that, Josh, and some big like pay-per-view UFC events, we get up to 300 people in the chat. And it's awesome. Everyone just hanging out, talking fights, bullshit, and talking about sports. So I appreciate you, my man. I appreciate you. But again, a shot at us. A shot at me is a shot at the stream. How bad Styro's nose look after the cut man did his job? It's... Not too bad, to be honest. I think it's bleeding from underneath more than more than the cut. Oh, I appreciate it, buddy. Commentary of the fights is why I love the live streams. Sub only mode for a life. Look at that. The chat has my back. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. You guys are amazing. I'll, I'll take a better look at it, uh, Jefferson, in a sec. Josh, no way. Shit, bro. You live in Van Isle. That's hilarious. Where are you from, Victoria? Where are you from, Josh? I mean, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. I, I understand. No one's doxing you here, though. 
But uh, Nanaimo here, brother. I went to UVic, lived in Victoria for a while. Hell, even lived up in Courtney for a bit, did some mountain biking at the start of the pandemic for basically like six months straight when I wasn't working, doing hockey streams. But yeah, man, I started uh, the Hockey Podcast Network, uh, left that company and just started doing these fight streams, man. It's been a lot of fun. So I appreciate it. Look at that. A fellow Van Islander coming in hot, trying to attack our community. And we're leaving as brothers. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Two minutes and 21 seconds left in this fight. Straight left jab for Desegni. Elbow by Desegni in the pocket there. Oh, I, I got to imagine that that's going to keep making that nose bleed. Left hook under the eye, and that one made Ty uh, Tyrell wince a little bit there. There we go. Yeah, Tyrell wants nothing on the feet anymore. Tried to go for the level change. Desegni stuffed that beautifully. Shout out Josh Sa uh, Saunders coming in hot here. Turns out he's from Vancouver Island as well. That's amazing. Center of the octagon. Again, Tyrell, I mean, she's got nothing here. Desegni keeping this an exciting fight because she's got cardio for days and just keep... And she's just like... She's just still throwing at the end of the day. She's not She's not throwing the towel in at all. Oh, and here we go. Moving in again. Left hook, right hook, straight left. Two right hooks. Trying to get that left uppercut on the step in. But again, like, Desegni's making this fun to watch because she's absolutely pecking Tyrell apart. <laughs> trying to come to BFL with me. And living in South Island. Nice, man. Nice. I love that. Love the South of the Island. You know, I hope to... I hope to someday, if our fucking province gets their shit together... Hell, if Canada gets its shit together and we can afford... And I can afford to buy a house on the island someday, I hope to be back in Victoria. I'm actually moving to Minnesota for a little bit because uh, I do a hockey podcast about craft beer and Minnesota hockey, funny enough. So I'm moving to Minnesota on the 14th after Kenny versus Spenny hits up Nanaimo. Um, because I got the VIP for them. I'm gonna make some content for them for with them for this channel, Josh. So there's incentive to sub as well. Kenny versus Spenny, Kenny Hotz and Spencer Rice are gonna be on this channel in in like a week's time. Um, and then after that, yeah, taking off to do some hockey content, hitting up NCAA games. I'm hitting up a Gophers game, a North Dakota game, a Bemidji Beavers game. Gonna vlog and document the whole thing. It's gonna be a fun. Uh, Canadian winter in the state of hockey. <laughs> All right, second round over. Sorry, I didn't give too much play-by-play -play on that one. I'll do more in the third here. Just uh, Josh got me Stokes. My countryman, not only that, my fellow Islanders joined us here. And I appreciate those who uh, enjoy the play-by-play. -play. Live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction and interaction with you folks here in the live chat. On some of DeSegni's entries, Tyrell's tagging her with just some jazz, but but nothing crazy. Lucas, what's going on, Lucas? Uh, no one has won yet. We're at the end of the second round, about to go into the third round. But I'll tell you with confidence that Desegni is is winning this fight, unless she somehow gets submitted or knocked out by Tyrell. Desegni's winning this fight. She she dominated those first two rounds. Some deep breaths from her going into the second round, but or going into this third round, but she set a crazy pace. She hasn't stopped just attacking. Third and final round. Let's get it all. They touch gloves. Lucas, third round just beginning here. And the one, two by Desegni right away. Basically picking off, picking up where she left off here. Yeah, yeah. Again, check out the MMA Gurus tier list on that. It's amazing. And he's not wrong. Shout out Tracy Cortez. Her next fight. It's going to be a good fight. But uh, some people might watch for other reasons too. <laughs> just saying. Just calling how I see it. No disrespect. One minute into this third and final round. And Tyrell went for the level change and almost caught that beautiful double leg. A great stuff by Desegni with the reversal. 
Almost got Tyrell up against the cage and went for an elbow strike there that she landed earlier in this fight, but doesn't seem to get it. Again, credit for Tyrell for even just showing up to this one. Former kickboxer, too. I mean, she's throwing here. She's in this, but she's not landing as DeSegni, you know, maybe gets landed, maybe gets hit with a jab on entry, but nothing of significance here. DeSegni is piecing up Tyrell. Brian Ortega is a lucky, lucky man. Doomsday, what's going on, Doomsday? <laughs> Dude, I know. I had no idea going into this. Because to be perfectly honest, the Sydney kind of looks a little older. Not in a bad way, I'm just saying. I had no idea she was almost 10 years older than her. She looks tremendous for being almost 43, I have to say that. But yeah, you can see she's not as quick. She's not as crisp. The fact is her cardio is allowing her to go this, this far with the pace that the Segni setting is, is tremendous, but again, again, you're 115 pounds, so. Doomsday, thanks for joining, buddy. Like the video, folks, and be like Doomsday. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. 24 likes, we're almost halfway there. There are 30 of you watching. Like the video. Once we rack up the likes and get it to 50, then that's our goal. We set goals for every stream. We hit 50 likes on this one, then we'll give away some prizes. If we hit 950 subscribers, we'll also give away some prizes. Those are our two goals we're trying to hit here today. If we hit either of those two goals, we'll give away some City Life merch. And hell, if Josh wins this one, I'll hand deliver it to you, motherfucker. Two minutes and 23 seconds left in this third and final round. Desegni still putting on a tremendous pace in this third round. Slows down a little bit. She's been honestly just going forward, attacking all fights. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Front kick just misses by Desegni. One minute and 50 seconds left in this fight. Pure domination by the Italian. We're about to see four for four. Barring a knockout or submission by Tyrell, which would be a crazy comeback. Tyrell lands two right hands there. Desegni slowing down here. You can just see her energy dropping. Not that, not that it's going to hamper her from winning this fight by any means. And she's still... Pressing forward. Oh, Superman punch, punch by DeSegni. She's still pressing forward. And as a result there, like I said, with the Superman punch, landing, setting the pace, attacking. But definitely looks a lot slower than in the second round. And hey, I mean, it's the end of the round. It's the end of the, the, end of the fight. There's one minute officially left on the scoreboard. Not surprising that she would slow down here. And not at any rate that is even hampering her ability to even land. If anything, it's just allowing Tyrell to land a little bit more as her she's kind of sacrificed dodging and, you know, footwork on the defense and just to keep moving forward. Thankfully, I didn't bet that farm on the under. Yes, absolutely. Exactly that. Again, folks, you have, if you have suggestions for sounds you want me to put on my soundboard, just comment on any of the videos here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. You comment with a suggestion, preferably a link to from YouTube that I can clip, uh, and we will put it on there within reason, okay? Straight left jab by DeSegni, followed by a one-two combo. Left elbow there. And there we go. I mean, they're both smiling there. Tyrell, I mean, likely her last fight in mixed martial arts. Yeah, and there we go. Desegni lifting up her arm. Look at the and it's all over! Tremendous display of respect there. I imagine it's Tyrell's last fight, like I said. Desegni getting another win. Easy win also for her in Cage Warriors. Opening up the main card, we go the distance to Segni. Four for four Italian. Official decision coming up in a moment, but I imagine, folks, three for three on the judges' scorecards there all around. She absolutely pieced Tyrell the fuck up. Unbelievable.
All right. Official decision coming up in a moment, folks. Again, shout out to everyone tuning in live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. If you're on Twitter, please migrate, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, so you can join our contest. All right, official decision coming up here next. Twenty nine, twenty eight was way too close. The thirty, twenty seven, I think it should have been all around. But yeah, Disagni. Twenty nine, twenty eight. Two judges had it. Come on, are you serious? That's thirty. That should have been thirty, twenty seven all around, in my opinion. Hey, even the commentary is a little surprised on that one. Hey, still dominant win nonetheless. Four and zero. <laughs> Sam, I almost went crazy on the under, seeing it was plus money. Twenty-five more likes, hell yeah, baby, let's go! It was awesome on the one championship. We gave away three prizes, I believe. On the UFC one, we gave, or on the Bellator one, we gave away two. And that was just last week, folks. Sending away prizes left, right, and center. For those in the UK and uh, what was it Ireland, uh, I had to just pay some extra fee. Like I got an email from your fucking post or your government that was like, "Oh, you gotta pay this handling." I just paid it, so it's probably gonna be there in an extra week. I know the prizes that were sent out to the United States, you all got your hoodies and stuff like that. So just let me know if you if uh, those in the UK and those in Ireland who won. Uh, our last few contests who I sent uh, some merch to just let me know if you don't get it in a week's time because it should be on its way. Yeah, only placed uh, 0.1 unit on the under. Just sign into your YouTube with your Gmail account and smash that like button. Look at that. Look at that. Reborn. Do <laughs> God's work here. It should have been 3027 all the way, in my opinion. All right, so this fight was originally on the prelims coming up here, but it was moved up to the main card. Excited for this one. 135 pound women. So we might actually see some lights go out here. The 115ers, I, I, in women's MMA, it's hard, we barely see that many finishes anyways as far as knockouts, right? Submissions, whole other story. 115ers... It's, even with men, the power's not there that much, right? 135 women, though. I mean, just looking at Awaso right now, she's an absolute tank. So we might see a knockout here, ladies and gentlemen. We might see a knockout here. All right. Let's take a look at these two fighters here. We will run them down. We'll talk about their fighting style, their records. I'll get my prediction, and then I want to hear yours. Awasau out of France. One win, one loss in professional mixed martial arts, and one win comes by decision. Both their fights have come in SoCo FC. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if she's fought boxing before. I'm just going to look her up quick. There's not a lot via topology or... I mean, she's got a huge backing here as the crowd is going nuts for... I thought maybe she was a kickboxer or a boxer, but... Uh, I don't know. I can't really find anything else on her. She's one and one. She's 27. She's got a huge, huge backing here as the crowd just going nuts. Awasau. Looking at her opponent. Jasmine Favero out of Italy. One win. Zero losses. One KO in Cage Warriors. 142. She got a TKO in the second round via punches. Pretty decorated amateur career as well. Five wins, two losses. She lost her first fight and her last fight as an amateur. 
One in a professional cage warriors debut by KO TKO. So very new to MMA are both of these fighters. Favero, Awasau making their walks to the octagon. Awasau just did a little friggin' Super Saiyan power up yell there. She entered the octagon. Um, bum, 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 bum. Favero will be the first one to take down an Italian tonight. Favero is the Italian. Favero minus 2000. Mistype. Favero will not be the first Italian to go down tonight. <laughs> Reborn. That makes two of us. Whoops. See, there we go. Favero making her walk out. Favero minus 2,000 here against Awasau out of France. Okay, well, we're going to have to go with the Italian. That's my prediction. Locking it in. Four for four with the Italians here tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Vote our poll question if you haven't already, folks, and like the video. 25 likes. We're trying to get to 50. Once we get to 50 likes, we will give away some prizes. Favero is friggin' hot. She is beautiful. Under one and a half, minus 204. Shit. I gotta quickly just look this this girl up and see if she uh see what her last knockout looked like or last TKO anyways. If you're viewing on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube. I'm just checking out. I'm just watching her uh her last fight right now. Oh shit! Oh, okay, she does have power. It was a knee and then just a bunch of shots up against the cage that uh, that solidified her last win. Damn. Going with the Italian again. Something about this crowd. So many face tattoos on that guy. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever get a face tattoo. I ain't Sugar Sean O'Malley. This crowd is amazing here. Not the biggest arena, but the crowd is tremendous. Reborn, St. Favero's on all three of my parlays. And I think so, uh, so is a tomato can. All right, looking at the tail of the tape right now. 22 years old is Favero the Bull. So she's just starting out, both of them 135 pounds. Awasau, two professional fights. Whereas Favero, only one, but Favero, a ton of amateur fights, as we just highlighted, going five and two on the amateur scene. I like Wooding personally. But we'll get into that when we when we highlight them uh, prior to that to that bout. Uh, Mirko, a lot of passion for the sport in Rome, absolutely, and it's it's great to see. It's great to see the Cage Warriors travels quite a bit around uh, Europe as well. It's 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 really really cool. All right, folks, let me know in the live chat. This fight is about to begin. They are being introduced here. In the octagon, second fight on the main card, Cage Warriors 144, Rome, Italy. No problem, buddy. No problem. The broadcast for Cage Warriors, shout out to them. It's done a tremendous job as well. Most things produced and, and broadcast via Fight Pass are very, very good. Even like the lesser promotions with like kind of the shittier cameras and things like that. 
they still try to emulate that like UFC or you know those bigger fight promotion frameworks and a lot of them do a really good job in cage wars you know they're up there as well all right folks here we go here we go second fight on the main card here tonight cage wars 144 if you haven't already get your predictions in like the video drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes let's go let's get it all outside low kick for favero Favero already pinning Sal up against the cage. Sal with a good reversal. Still have faith. Hell yeah, buddy. So with the double underhooks, looking for the takedown. And Favero almost with the reversal judo throw here. Favero definitely looks like the bigger girl, despite coming in under 135. Favero by TKO. I hope so. Cage Warriors would love that too. Then they have a budding star on their hand. Some hooks. And some shots from the clinch by Favero, but clinch work right now. Both both these women chasing the takedown. That judo throw and or tie clinch takedown. Knees by Favero. Back and forth now, who, you know, with dominant position. Yeah, you can see the judo background from Favero for sure, the way she's moving right now in this clinch, trying to set up a throw. Three minutes and 32 seconds left in this first round. Live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with all you amazing people. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Oh, and there we go. There we go. Favero gets the throw. And it's a tie! Oh! And it's all over! I don't even know what submission Favero had so in, but she gets the finish. Judo throw counter gets on top of her and submits her just like that. What the hell type of submission was that? I got to see the replay. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, indeed. What just happened there? Judo throw landed on top. Did she straight up just like grab the trachea and was like, I'm going to choke you, bitch? Like what happened there? Oh my goodness. I got to see that replay. Cage warrior, stand up. You have a star on your hands. <laughs> Not quite, Jefferson. Straight up bulldog choke? Okay, so what, bulldog choke, but the arm was in there, so her arm got extended when she pulled up. So it was an arm bar. She sat on the shoulder, the one arm was extended, and as she pulled up with the bulldog choke, it, it, it made it so... So's arm, her right arm, just got completely extended and she tapped. I only speak English, buddy. But thank you for joining. What did our boy say here? Wow. And the Italian crowd goes wild. Four for four on our predictions. Four for four Italy tonight in Rome. I didn't even have enough time to tweet that. Unbelievable. So Americana is what she's getting credited with. Two finishes in Cage Wars. One in the second round by TKO. One in the first round via submission. Favero is a budding star for this promotion. Love that Patty Pimblet is on the mic too. Color commentary, former two-time Cage Warrior champion himself.
Wow. Unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat if you haven't already. She, it should have been the under. Five and zero oh, says Jefferson. Let's go, baby. Is, is it five and zero? Oh? Are we five fights in already? Holy mackerel! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Your boy's coming up. Four is a Jefferson. Napole. Let's go. Let's go. So we know who our friend here is rooting for. He's he's rooting for his boy Jefferson Napoli. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Look, man, we've been rooting for the Italians all night, and I don't think it's going to end here. Reborn, he's saying that Hazan takes this next one. Yo, I had it muting. I had it muted. I didn't know Patty was commentating. Yeah, patty has been in the color uh, seat all night. He's doing a pretty good job. Holy crap, we're 5-0 and already. That's amazing. Oh, this one's going to be a little interesting because we've been going for the Italians all night. This one, uh, I believe the Italian's the underdog here, right? Is the Italian the underdog reborn? Oh, they're both Italian. Oh my God, I should see that on the screen. God damn it, I'm an idiot. It's because I haven't gone through them yet. Um, Jefferson, though. He's the elder of the two. He's the one that our boy here is rooting for, I believe. We'll run them down in a sec as Jefferson makes his walk. Oh, yeah. Sorry, folks. I just, I literally just didn't even look at my own screen here. I was just looking at the chat. Um, all right. Give me one sec here. I am going to share this on Twitter. We'll run down both of these fighters here. Two Italians going at it. Love it. 135ers again. This time, males. And I believe Jeff uh, Jefferson's coming in on short notice. That's what Patty just said on the broadcast. So kind of win-win for him, I guess, if he shows okay. But I mean, win-win despite... I mean, regardless, you're on an Italian card. Which is pretty amazing, too, fighting in Cage Wars. Only being 2-1 as a professional. Oh, uh, We'll go right back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Just sharing this one more time on Twitter. Then we'll run down the fighters, get your comments, predictions, the whole nine yards. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Super, super interactive on Twitter. At VI Sports Talk. We're streaming on Twitter too, but I suggest you migrate over to YouTube so you can join in on our live chat so you can enter our contest. What are we at? 26 likes. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Like the video. Like the video. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes. All right. This has been shared on Twitter. We'll get right back to the comments. Yo, bum, 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 bum. Jefferson is the underdog. Hazen is the favorite. Hazen is a rising star, says Mirko. Joss, I was just wondering on this one, I might touch the under since Jefferson is sh short notice. Hazen minus 2,000. Damn. Hazan is one win away from the UFC. He was a belt challenger last month, but missed weight. Okay, okay. Hazan on all three parlays. Wouldn't touch it as a straight bet unless you go far the under on rounds. All right, well, let's, let's highlight both of these fighters right and now, folks, as Hazan makes his walk to the cage. Dylan Haas on eight wins, zero losses, 28 years old, four TKO, KO, four decisions. He has fought three times in Cage Wars. This will be his fourth, 124, 129, and 136. Unanimous decision, split decision, and TKO, 
TKO victories. Before then, he fought in RDC, FCC, born to fight in Italian cage fighting. His opponent, who joined on short notice, Jefferson Machado del Filipis, the Predators, 38 years old, two wins, one loss, one submission, one decision victory. He lost his last fight in fight one, Iron Fighter, won his first professional his first two professional fights in PNFC and APC9. So should be easy win by Dylan Hassan, who apparently, as per noted in the chat here, is one, one win away from the UFC. He's that talented. Under one and a half minus 280, a little steep for one and a half rounds. He does have a couple... Of, First round finishes, and he's fighting a 38-year-old 38 year, 38 year who's only had three professional bouts on short notice. I would say hit that, Jefferson, but I'm no I'm no betting expert. There you go. Listen to Reborn. He, he's more of a betting expert than I am. All right, tail of the tape. Ten years older is Jefferson. He only has three professional fights. Catch weight because it was short notice 138 pounds rather than 135. All right, both these fighters being announced in the center of the ring again. Reminder, folks, we have fight companions all week. We have another one later today, FAC, so join us for that. And again, folks, can't say enough of how happy I am that we're building this tremendous fight community here. You are all amazing. Again, you all are making this so much fun to do all these streams, so I appreciate it. More like I am more of a degenerate. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. You know we're trying to get to 50 likes on the video. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes. We're also trying to get to 950 subscribers on the channel by the end of the stream. We hit 9.05 just a minute ago. Unbelievable. You all are so amazing. Thank you so much. And yes, we are streaming FAC 16 later tonight as well. We will have the same contest rules applying to that as well. So you do have a chance if we don't hit 50 likes on the video or 950 subscribers on this stream, the same rules will apply for that one. You have a chance to win there. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Some kicks coming from Jefferson right off the bat. Knees in the clinch by Hassan. Hassan clinched up, has Jefferson against the cage, really just trying to pull him to the ground. Good job defending the body lock was Jefferson. Jefferson with a good knee on the entry of Hassan. Hassan swings and a miss. Hassan is swinging and missing here. Getting a little too crazy here right off the bat. He doesn't want to gas himself out. This is wild. One minute into this fight. Again, live commentary, live reaction, live interaction with you folks here. And there we go. Hassan with some hooks. And that seemed to that seemed to hurt Jefferson, humble him a little bit. Hassan wants to end this, folks. He's throwing bombs to end, like to, to finish this fight. He hasn't landed any of them yet. Mirko, if he lands, then it possibly could be, but he hasn't landed any of them. And now Hassan takes Jefferson down to the ground. Like a judo throw, side control now. Elbows coming down from Hassan inside control. Jefferson not doing anything to defend himself here. And the elbows continue to come down. Hassan with the ground and pound from side control. Hassan back on his feet. Jefferson gives up his back rolls. 
Song grabs the neck of Jefferson now. Side control. Hassan, awesome oh, hard ground and pound from top position. Reborn saying, end the fight, end the fight. He's not quite in a crucifix or anything that would allow this fight to be ended yet, in my opinion. But soon, because Jefferson, I mean, he looks out of his element on his back here. In the full guard of Jefferson is Hassan. Two minutes and 33 seconds left. Clear cage grab by Jefferson. All right, this is over now. Jefferson's covering up. He's not defending himself. It's over. It's over now. Mock guarded end this fight. Yeah. Gonna finish it. It is all over. Easy victory by Dylan Hassan. You could see it in Jefferson. His body language changed. It went from trying to actively defend himself just to covering up and even like shaking his head there at one point. Italy, stand up. You're making clean work of this card on Cage Warriors. Holy crap. And a, was that a backflip? Oh, and there's another one. Stand up, Italy. Dylan Hassan. Wow. The Italians are taking over. I know there was, it was Italy versus Italy on this bout, but still. It is cool to see the crowd getting behind, whether there's just one or two Italian fighters. But yeah, we saw it here. As soon as he went to the ground, after the, those initial elbows and him getting out of that position and then forfeiting a dominant position again, I mean, it was over after that. He wants to be called Dana? <laughs> Who? I'd like to see him win a few more fights before going to the UFC as long as he isn't too old. He's 28 years old, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, this one won't get him to the UFC. You know, a 3 and one guy on short notice. He's going to have to beat a highly ranked opponent. And he's the number two ranked, right? He just beat an unranked guy who's 38 years old. One more fight, ranked opponent, Cage Warriors. Then let's see what he has in the UFC. What is up, Luke? What's going on, brother? Uh, the main event, there's the co-main event is next. So 30 to 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. What's up, Brian and Brittany? What's going on? Thank you for joining. Shout out to everyone who's been joining throughout this entire prelim to main card here. Cage Wars 144. TKO Hassan. <laughs> it is Friday. It is Friday. Normal people are working right now. Normal people are working. We will be back, though. FAC later tonight. Don't you worry. Well, that was quick, and the co-main event is upon us. Just like that, we're into the co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get that up on the screen here. And here we go with, with two fighters with a lot more experience, with a little bit more of decorated records. This one should be an absolute banger next, folks. An absolute banger next. And I'm excited for that. Keep the comments coming. It's comment driven live stream. Uh, Reborn saying, I have Flaminas in two parlays, Pedersoli in one. I really want Flaminas to win this one, though. What are your thoughts? Well, we're about to dive into it. I would be at work, but use the vacation day. Atta boy, atta boy. <laughs> what, are you up to, uh, use, what are you up to today using your vacation day? Are you chilling vacationing or are you catching up on you know life stuff all right let's tee up these next two fighters here folks let's do it cold main event of the evening we have madras flaminas 
out of Latvia. He's 34 years old, 10 wins, three losses, five KO, TKO, one submission, four decision. He's on a two-fight winning streak in Caged Warriors. He is a Caged Warriors veteran. Two-fight win streak in Caged Warriors, like I mentioned. And he's two, four, six, eight and one on the amateur scene. He went... 7-0 and oh, out of the gate as a professional and on a two-fight losing streak upon entering Cage Wars after winning his first uh, after winning his first fight in Cage Wars. Then in Cage Wars 118-2020, he regained his win, getting back in the win column, I should say, beating Mike Stanton, lost to Jack Grant, and then now is riding his two-fight win streak. 10-3 and three again, professionally. Looking at his opponent... Carlo Pedersoli Jr., Italian descent out of Miami, Florida. 13 wins, 4 losses. He's 29 years old. 5 KO, TKO, 4 submission, 4 decision. He's also riding a 2-fight win streak. TGC and MFC promotions. Before then, he was on a 3-fight losing streak. Bellator and UFC. Yes, that's right. He has fought in Cage Warriors before. He has fought in the UFC before. He has three fights in the UFC, going one and two. One fight before this in Cage Warriors, which he won. Before suffering his first loss, he won three fights in a row. Then went on a... Eight-fight win streak before losing to Alex Oliveira and Dwight Grant in the UFC. Got cut, went to Bellator, lost, and now is on a two-fight win streak making his re-debut in Bellator. I'm going... Ah, oh, this one's tough, folks. Oh, Mambo Italiano. Look at that. The Latvian Express walking out to that song. He kind of looks like Keith Jardine, eh, folks? The Latvian Express kind of looks like Keith Jardine. Hmm, this one, oh man. This one's tough. I don't I don't know which one to pick. I've been so lucky with the Italians thus far. Do I want to break that streak? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going with the Keith Jardine looking Latvian Express, and I hope this one doesn't bite me in the ass. <laughs> Locking it in. I'll get right back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Just sharing this on Twitter. Let me know who you have. Let me know who you have picked in this fight. I'm just going to share this on Twitter, and I'll get right back to your comments. Bum, bum, bum. I love his walkout music, though. That is... It's not even trolling. I just think it's like, hell yeah, baby. Here we are. We're in Rome. When in Rome. Oh, even Capoza, by the way, is tweeting about that uh, that beautiful arm lock by Favero. I'm getting distracted. I got to share this on Twitter and get back to the comments. Sorry, folks. Mumbo Italiano. That's amazing. All right, it has been shared. Time to get back to the live chat here. Bum, 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 bum. I have money on Pedersoli, but I think Flaminas will win. Mirko saying Pedersoli, the grandson of Bud Spencer. No way. Running around being kids Uber. Everybody check who Bud Spencer is. Free Uber. <laughs> but was able to hit the dispensary. Oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Slight tapology favored. Vegas favors him. And a few vloggers uh, are fans of uh, Flaminas. Some say Peder Soli is a can. Thank you for that, Jefferson. We just get two listens. To the arguments. Or we just get to listen to the arguments. That's hilarious. 
I need to watch the fight. My daughter's going to homecoming, so watching tape in case I have to fuck a kid up. <laughs> I'd be the same way if I was a father, Brian. Do it. Got a bit against the stake at some point. Yep. I'm going against the grain. I'm going against the Italian tonight. We're going with the Keith Jardine looking motherfucker. Despite Pedro Soli being a UFC veteran. And Brittany's saying, no, Brian, let me do that. <laughs> That's amazing. Like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We will be back later. I know there's only one more fight after this, folks. That's okay. We'll be back for FAC later tonight. Two streams today. Hell yeah. Let me know who you voted for in the poll question too, folks. And then we'll get to that in a moment. 30 likes on the video. We're 20 away from reaching our goal, folks. 20 away from reaching our goal. 75% of our poll question think that Wooding is going to win the main event. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. So Latvian, Latvian Express weighed in two pounds heavier, actually. He's a little bit older. It's two inch reach advantage, two inch of height. But he's not like super old. He's 34. So he's like, he's still theoretically in his prime, assuming he takes care of his body. <laughs> All right. They're being announced here. Center of the octagon. Dude, I heard that. I heard that actually a couple, I think it was last week, actually. He made like a, he went on Instagram live after his coach accused everyone of Tiger Muay Thai on Joe Rogan's podcast too. And it's a shame. I love Bobby Green. I don't, I think it was an accident, but still when your coach comes out and says like, if you fail a drug test, you should get banned for life. And then your guy fails a drug test. Jeez. Yeah. I fucking love Bobby Green. Hood style, baby. When he was in Strike Force, fuck, so good. So good. Bud Spencer is one of the most famous actors from Italy, not famous in the US, but everywhere else in the world. John, what's going on? Just tuned in. Patty the Batty on the mic. Love it. Mario Ferry saying, Dylan? Isha. All right, folks. Shout out to everybody tuning in live on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, folks. We are 20 likes away from our goal. Oh, 19 likes away from our goal. Dylan already won, buddy. Dylan already won. Dylan was in the last fight, and he won. Easy, easy work, buddy. Easy work. Thank you for joining, Mario. I appreciate it. You're a beauty. Mario, who wins the main event? Let me know in the live chat. All right, folks, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction and interaction here on the Stay Light Project YouTube channel. All right, just gauging timing. None of them, none of these fighters have engaged yet. Center of the ring, bouncing around here. Soft shots here, gauging the timing. A little bit of fakes, both on the kicks and the punches. A little overhand left thrown by Flamina. Kick there by Petter Soli. Kick returned by Fluminas. One minute into this fight, and neither of these guys have really engaged yet. Oh, an overhand power shot by Fluminas. Doesn't land. Lands with a straight left jab, though, does Fluminas. So he's tried to throw that left jab again, but on the offense now is Pedersoli walking forward. Pedersoli just faked that low kick.
Center of the octagon are both of these fighters again. Petr Soli's got some monster legs. Left hook, Flamina's lands. Overhand right by Petr Soli misses. They're just throwing bombs, these guys. And right back, throwing it Petr Soli's way. It was an overhand right by Flamina's. Hey, thanks for replying, Mario. I appreciate it. Welcome to the community here, buddy. Two minutes and 58 seconds left in this first round. Inside low kick checked by Petr Soli. Petr Soli's looking confident. He's the one who's been walking forward most of this. Flaminas. I think landing more, but neither of these guys have landed too, too much yet. Oh, and there we go. There's a, there's a right hook by Flaminez, and that one lands right on the chin. And there we go. Pedersoli, he's throwing, but he's not landing. Two minutes left in this first round. Petr Soli trying to work that jab there. Flaminas, good left jab. Straight through the guard. And both these guys are picking apart. Outside shots, Flaminas are landing more. Petr Soli is really trying to get into the pocket to be able to land. And there, you get, and there he does with that uppercut. Yeah, Patty's awesome, man. Two-time Cage Warriors champion on the mic doing color commentary for Cage Warriors and UFC Fight Pass. Uh, Marcel, hello from Canada. Marcel, I'm literally from Canada too, buddy. Vancouver Island, baby. Let's go. What's going on, Marcel? Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Oh, Canada here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Persoli with a right hook and that tagged Flaminas woke him up more like Marcel. Thank you so much for joining again. I appreciate it. Like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. Much like Marcel for a chance to win some prizes. Once we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll give away some merchandise. 45 seconds left in this first round. Close round, folks. Close round. Front kick. Flaminas. A lot of fakes, both these guys, as Patty says on the broadcast. Two head kicks land by Petr Soli. Petr Soli trying to go over a level change late. And Petr Soli with a slam takedown. 14 seconds left. Slam takedown. On Flaminas by Petr Soli. And that honestly might have sealed the round because it was a pretty damn close round up until that point. Petr Soli might have won that round with that takedown. What do you folks think in the live chat? Let me know. I think he could have done enough there with that takedown. What do you think, folks? Yeah, Josh, that's what I'm thinking as well. I think it was like pretty dead even. If anything, maybe Flamina is slightly just with the output. And I mean the output of like shots that actually landed because Pedersoli's been throwing a lot, but he's been hitting a lot of air. And that was a beautiful takedown. It was a right into side control. 100%. Especially when it's the only one in the round. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. Shout out to everyone viewing live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel, live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video here today. That's our goal. Once we have 50 likes, we will give away some prizes. 
Ayub, what's going on? Let's go, Woody. He's literally my coach at my gym. That's amazing, buddy. That's amazing. Next fight, and he's up. Up against the cage, tie clinch. Nice elbow by Petersoli. Back to the center of the octagon of both these fighters. Team Woody, let's go. Ooh, an overhand right misses. And there we go. Petersoli takes Flaminas back to the ground. One minute into this second round. Guillotine attempt. Flamina's guillotine attempt. And now gets top position as a result. As a result of Petersoli spinning out of that guillotine. Flaminas gets right back up to his feet. But Petersoli gets those hooks in. Is going for the takedown again. And he gets it. But right back into the guillotine of Flaminas. And this is tight now. This is tight now. And Petersoli's out of it. Right into the full guard. Half guard, I should say, of Flaminas. Hey, great job of defending that guillotine by Petersoli. That, that second attempt was in deep. John, one more fight on this card, buddy. The event's been pretty damn good, to be perfectly honest. I approve. Petersoli went for the arm triangle. Flaminas was able to get out of it. But now almost mount. Seems like a lot of adrenaline dumping round one. Oh, yeah, man. Especially uh, Petersoli came out hot. Looking for the back take was Petersoli. Good scramble by Flaminas who gets into side control. Trying to move into mount and he gets into mount. Oh, half guard now. He had mount for an instant. So many reversals in this fight. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the second round. Solid co-main event in the full guard of Pedro Soli is Fluminaz. He's got to get some more ground to pound in if he wants to salvage this round after being taken down so many times. Really trying to get into side control. And he gets reversed again. Now Petersoli in top position. Payne, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Petersoli gets his back. Petersoli gets his back. And he gets a hook in. Body triangle sunk in. Body triangle sunk in for Penasoli. And the choke is in. The rear naked is in. And that's it. Oh, the finish it. Penasoli. Oh, the Italians continue to win. Oh, 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 hops the cage into the Italian crowd. <laughs> this is incredible. The Italians. They're winning every single fight on this card. This is amazing. It's been great, brother. It's, it's been great. How's your week been, Payne? Look at that. Fired up. <gasps> that would be hilarious, Josh. Don't let him bully us, son. Low for season. Holy moly. Dario, the fight is over. The fight is over, Dario. Petter solely wins. Rear naked choke second round. <laughs> he submitted him, buddy. One more fight left on the docket, and that is the main event next, folks. Beautiful grappling exchanges by both of these fighters. The reversals back and forth. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. Like the video if you haven't already, folks. 33 likes. That is amazing. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Yes, that 
much. It's beautiful. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. This is unreal. We're almost at 50 likes. Once we get to 50 likes, we'll give away some prizes, folks. And all you have to do to enter our contest is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. We will continue this contest on our next stream as well. FAC 16 in about four hours time, I believe. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. What a fight that was. <laughs> I'm fired up, Dario. Let's go, buddy. This stream is going to be bouncing when it's UFC uh, 280. Letty, hell yeah, buddy. Sorry, Jefferson. Marcel, love your reactions. Thanks, dude. I actually clip my reactions and post compilations of them on this channel as well. So check it out. And I, I, uh, I implore all of you who are in the live chat right now, check out the channel. We do so much more than just fight live streams. That's just one part of this amazing channel. All right, official announcement of the winner in the Octagon now. Italy, stand up, baby! Josh, respect for covering all these smaller shows. Will you be doing predictions for BFL 74? Predictions? I mean, for you, Josh, I might have to now. Usually I don't do prediction videos uh, for anything but the big promotions. But maybe I'll do that for you, Josh. But I 100% will live stream the smaller promotions if they land, you know, if my work schedule permits sort of thing. That's like, if I could, I'd stream everything. I'd stream everything. There's some I just can't do given my work schedule. So I stream whatever promotion I can, big or small, you know, that, that fits in my schedule. But I appreciate it, Josh. <laughs> Still have one parlay alive. Wouldn't to win my eight pick parlay. Fuck yeah, Adelaide. I've checked out your music videos, bud. They are great. Thanks, man. I that means so much, John. That th that means so much. I appreciate yeah, that shit it. Beautiful than a motherfucker. You're an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for you, John. Smoke me if you got him. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break before the main event here. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to refill my water bottle because my, <clears throat> my voice is needing it. Then we will tee up the main event on screen here. We will tee up the main event of the evening. We will highlight the fighters. We will talk about their fighting style. We will highlight everything about them. I will give my official prediction, and then I want to hear yours. Let's freaking go on the other side. Cage Warriors. 144 Rome Italy main event here on the other side. I just bought a new way. A couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's worse she'll never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all hands if you wanna Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We can hold hands if you wanna
I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can hold hands if you want to. Hey, tell me what you want to do. We can just laugh if you want to. Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all have you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do we could just laugh if you wanna late nights on the stars if you wanna we could just kiss if you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do it's like the story of my life best friends but we rocking all the same things say you need me but you really trying to change lanes well i don't even care in my life i don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Tell me what you want to do And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for the main event of the evening Cage Warriors 142 Rome Italy and what an event it has been ladies and gentlemen the Italians going seven and oh thus far can that streak continue for the bantamweight title I don't know I don't know but we shall see okay before we get into the predictions before we get into the rundown I want to catch up on some of these comments I just want to say you all are amazing I'm going to give you all a shout out again your handle a shout out if we hit our goal or not, you all are going to get a shout out after this stream. Again, reminder, we have one more fight here. One more fight here on the docket. So last chance to like the video. We have 34 likes on the video right now. We're trying to get to 50. If we get to 50 likes before this stream ends, we will give away some prizes so if you haven't already liked the video drop a comment in the live chat okay as i get back into the live chat it's okay bfl 74 won't 
have many people interested besides locals. Well, that's okay. I don't give a fuck. Maybe I'll just go to it. So bummed. Uh, Nick Outlet's fight got canceled. Powell River BJJ. Um, I actually I I trained BJJ at American Top or American Top Island Top Team in uh, Nanaimo. Unbelievable school as well. Um, but, but, but I get my ass kicked every open roll. <laughs> Italy keeps pulling the Woody line down. Gonna have to take one unit now on Woody. Damn. Hey, appreciate it, Reborn. I'm trying to change the music up for every break, for every intro, and things like that now uh, on the stream. So I appreciate it. And because of Cage Warriors, I changed the color of like the little bar. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous considering how this card has gone so far i know the italians man who are you betting izzy versus alex Ooh, that one's honestly man like <laughs> we need a new champ i'm sick i'm sick of izzy just dominating the, the middleweight division there's really only two elite middleweights right now those are adesanya and whitaker and then it's like okay costa is okay i guess and Pereira. Pereira's like, uh, I would love to see him get that belt. I really would. So I'm going Izzy. Or sorry, I'm going Pereira. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be... I doubt Adesanya takes it to the ground. Despite him probably winning the fight via wrestling or grappling, I'm sure he wants to get his kickboxing revenge. My dog's just making some weird yawning noises. She's watching Cage Warriors as well from the couch. I threw a unit under four and a half rounds when it dropped plus 150. That, that's pretty good, Josh, actually. Damn. Patty's got pies and burgers on that table. Actually, Patty's looking pretty good now. He, I think he started dieting again. There's a fight that's going to be announced soon because he, he obviously is home from the United States. Well, not home, but he's back in Europe. From the United States. So I think he's starting to be started to die again. Actually, I know he's starting to die again. I watched his last vlog and he was already picking veggies out of his, you know, dieting plan. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Vasco, what's going on? All Italians won. So Martigioni have a weight on his shoulder. Yeah, I mean, the pressure's on now. I'm good, buddy. How are you? How are you on this Friday? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Vasco. Thank you so much for joining. Izzy versus Alex. Alex winning that one. I'm going to pick Wooding. Congrats! On 900 subscribers on road to 1,000. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Funk Master. We're almost there. Road to 1,000. We're almost there, buddy. We are almost there. I appreciate it. Um, one of our goals on this stream is 950 subscribers. If we hit that, we're going to give away some prizes. I don't know if we'll hit that on this stream, but we might hit it on our next one. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love, Funk Master. Alex going to KO him in round two. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, I was trying to, like I said, I'm switching it up in every stream. So even on the in the FAC, it's a new song as well. Uh, the FAC break music is uh, new as well. So tune in later tonight. Uh, when does that one start? Let me check here. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba. On my YouTube, the City Light Project YouTube channel community tab, I have all the links and schedule for the streams that I do. Just double checking the time when I start this next one. Bum, ba, dum, ba, bum. Seven o'clock, seven o'clock Pacific time, FAC 16. We, we will be streaming that tonight as well, folks. I can only bet two and a half rounds on my sports book. Crap, I'd take the four and a half under. Uh, Marcel, nope, not yet, buddy. SLG, what's going on? <laughs> I'm doing great, buddy. This Cage Warriors event has honestly been outstanding. The Italians in Rome are 7-0 and on the card thus far. Huge pressure for the title challenger here. And almost at 1,000. It's crazy, man. I can hardly believe it. It's amazing. 
And I mean, we're growing a great fight community here. So, I mean, the pleasure is all mine to hang out with you guys. I mean, you guys make the show, honestly. It's amazing. I'm so thankful. I'm good. Looking good. Thank you. Just shave. Just shave today. Actually, I cut myself a couple times when the stream started. I left some of the tissue. <laughs> but I know it's been good. Started early. 1045 start here. And then uh, I'm going to get some work done after this. And then 7 o'clock p.m. FAC 16 Fighting Alliance Championship. James Krause's MMA promotion is going down tonight. And I'm excited to live stream that as well. SLG, Marcel, Jefferson, Funkmaster, Vasco. All you guys, you're amazing. Every single one of you. John. Reborn. I mean, I'm going to give everyone who commented shout outs at the end of the stream as well. Be sure to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat, folks. 35 likes. We're almost there. I know we can do it. <laughs> Come on, I know we can do it. Come on, folks. We're almost there. 15 more. 15 more. <laughs> We're almost there. I went crazy, like, guess, in the Bellator stream to start screaming. Come on. Come on. And eventually we got there and some. So just saying. Just saying. I was talking about Izzy versus Alex. I wish I could take the four and a half on wedding versus uh, Michelle. Is it Michele? Or is it because it's uh, Italian? Man, have you seen you series? I don't think I have. What is it? I know it's maybe off topic, but please get a genuine bonsai. Brings better vibes, bro. Dude, genuine bonsais are fucking expensive, bro. <laughs> I know it doesn't really look good. It doesn't really look good in this view. I agree. I agree. It's a fake bonsai, dude. It's a fake bonsai. I admit it. It's friggin' fake. I got it at the dollar store. Um, I used to have a real bonsai, actually. It was a pine tree bonsai. How Canadian is that? However, it needed to be outside because the fucking pine tree needs to be cold, it needs to be in cold weather only. And uh, my housemate at the time, he was like, oh, it'll be fine if we just leave it inside with the window open all winter. That's cold enough for it. No. Because at times we had to close the window. It was just so damn cold here. And the poor tree died. So, yeah. I was pissed. I love that fucking little bonsai tree. We named it Bruce Leaf. Bruce Leaf the bonsai tree. You look like Joe Goldberg identical. <laughs> That's two people. Do I look like Goldberg or do I look like Joe? Which one? <laughs> There's Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan. Which one? I don't think I look like either of them, to be honest. First of all, I'm half Persian. Neither of those motherfuckers are Persian. I guess Italians and Persians kind of look alike. Same with like Greeks and Persians. We're all hairy as fuck. All right, let's highlight both of these two fighters here, folks. I don't know what the holdup is for this main event. Everything Cage Warriors seemed to go very, very quick. This one's going to be a little bit... Uh... 37 likes! We're almost there! <laughs> but sorry, as I was saying, this one's taking a little slower to get to the main event of the evening. So let's highlight these two fighters here. Dominic Wooding out of England, out of London, England. Nine wins, four losses, 26 years old. Nine KO TKO. So all his wins have come by knockout or TKO. He's on a three-fight winning streak in Cage Warriors. Cameron Hardy, Nathan Fletcher, Carlos Abreu, the champion, Dominic Wooding. Before joining Cage Warriors, he was in Bellator. Before Bellator, he fought in Bama. Dude, Bama was such a great promotion. He started out his professional career fighting in Warrior Fight Series. He fought a ton of amateur as well. He went 7-3 on the amateur scene, fighting in WC MMA, FCC, Gods of Arena, and Warrior Fight Series. 
as we look at the Italian Thunder, Michele Marchigioni out of Rome, Italy, where this event is taking place. Seven wins, one loss, two no contest. He's also 26 years old. Two KO, TKO, three submission, and two decision. He won his last Cage Warrior fight against Scott Malone at Cage Warriors 140. Unanimous decision. No contest in his fight before then. Lost to Nathan Fletcher, Cage Warriors 122. Before then at a perfect record. Cage Warriors 117 beat Wesley Maya. He's won in Bellator, Coliseum FC, Storm FC. And has a decorated amateur career as well, going five and four, respectively. Who do you folks got in the main event of the evening? I know a ton of the regulars, a ton of the people who've been in this stream since the beginning of the stream, which, by the way, thank you so much. You are all amazing. I'll get right back to your comments here in a sec. Who do you folks got? Let me know. Final chance to vote in the poll question. Who wins this main event? The Italian Thunder or the Black Panther? Both 26. Both in tremendous shape. Both have knockout power. The Italian a little bit more well-rounded in mixed martial arts, but not necessarily experience-wise. Dominic Wooding just knows what he, he basically knows how he can win fights, uses his strengths to his advantage and knocks motherfuckers out. Back to the comments we go here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting pumped watching. Look at Cage Wars does such a good job with their broadcast. I'm getting pumped just watching the intro here. Joe Goldberg is a character in the U series. Oh, I thought you were talking about like Mike Goldberg slash Joe Rogan because they're commentators in the UFC, you know, MMA. I thought that was the connection, but okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind when I check out the U series. Where do you watch the U series? Michelle's changing his diaper. <laughs> oh, man. Might have to hammer Chase Hooper at minus 200. Steve Garcia stinks. Chase Hooper's minus 200? Dude, smash that shit. I'm smashing that. I like Chase Hooper. All right, making their walkouts now are the fighters here in the main event. I'll send you money, bro. Seriously, I can't follow this looking at a plastic one. Well, John, you're the one who, who no one knew was plastic until you told me. And by the way, it's not all plastic, okay? It's not all plastic. <laughs> But uh, soon, hey, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, you know, the, the the little monetization option will be available. I'll never ask for it, but if you folks do want to donate, I mean, I'm not going to say no. And all proceeds will go towards getting a bonsai tree so that John won't have an aneurysm watching these streams. Beautiful song. Italian opera. As the Italian Thunder makes his walk out. Oh, yeah. Hooper going to smash. Joe Cabrito? Don't joke about that. I'll take your money. <laughs> <laughs> the production quality on Cage Wars is amazing. Josh, it really is for being a smaller promotion. And I said the same thing about one championship. Now, one has more funding. I get it. Even though, did you hear one championship lost $110 million in 2021? Insane. Insane. That's my favorite promotion, Josh. One championship. Just because it's like, it's everything. And the women's fights are the most exciting in one championship. No, Cage Warriors has unbelievable productions. For what it is, LFA does a pretty good job too. I mean, it, it's clearly cheesier, but it's pretty good. But Cage Wars is up there with the PFLs and Bellator, and it's there's not as much funding in it. I'm getting the Italian crowd going. 
the Italian guy wins. That's pretty nuts. That's eight no for the Italians. News just came through that Bisping has called Connor out for a charity boxing match. Dude, uh, how amazing would it be if Bisping like knocked Connor McGregor out in a charity boxing match? I'd pay money to see that. For as annoying as the count can be on his broadcasting, my word! <laughs> um, as much as a heel that he played throughout his UFC career, fucking love Michael Bisping. One is the shit, the Muay Thai with the small gloves. It's like, dude, the Muay Thai with the UFC gloves is unbelievable. And then the, the kickboxers, because they just poach glory, are on another level. And what I like is they get the big glove, like the kickboxers. They get the heavyweight kickboxers, you know, the lighter weight Muay Thai guys. And then they get former two, like... Muay Thai and kickboxing women to come over and do MMA. And now with the straight submission grappling, that's offensively based, not point scoring. Oh man, give me one championship all day, every day. I hope it doesn't shut down because it's truly something special. When Demetrius Johnson had his revenge on Morales, man, I almost cried. Baby boy. <laughs> Just started watching one. Absolutely love it. I love how the Singapore events are on YouTube for Americans and the one championship events for North Americans are on Amazon. Look at this. The champion making his walkout. Keep an eye on Dustin jo Joinson. He's a heavyweight for one and trains in Victoria. Really nice kickboxing. Dude, I will 100%. 100%. I'm bookmarking that right now. I'm actually starting to interview fighters for this channel. I got... um, We got we got a few guys coming on. Coming on here soon. For Vola, we're interviewing him. Sorry, I had to tell my gr hockey group chat to shut the fuck up. There we go. Uh, Aaron Jeffrey, he's coming on as well. Um, Who else? Who else? We got a few. We got a few coming on as some... We're going to bank a few interviews, then like start ringing them out weekly. But that's uh, so always looking, especially for Vancouver Island and, and local... People who train here locally or who are from here, um, those are the ones I want to highlight first and foremost. Those are the conversations I want to have. I almost cried, dude, because I lost money. Oh, it sucks. Dude, he's such a beauty. He is such a beauty. And the way he opened up on uh, Helwani's podcast recently was, was unreal. I'm just closing my Twitter tab right now. The NHL season's about to start. I'm in an NHL group chat and it's just going nuts right now. <clears throat> but as I was saying, the way he uh, opened up about um, Elias uh, Theodoro, who just recently passed away to cancer, unreal Canadian MMA fighter as well, fought in the UFC, uh, won that um, Ultimate Fighter. That weird one that was like Canada versus Australia. Um, Aaron Jeffrey opened up about training with him, coming up with him in the MMA scene as well. Aaron Jeffrey with an unbelievable win too in Bellator against Paige Van Zant's husband <laughs> to get that fourth rank. And the moustache that Aaron Jeffrey has as well. I'm going to be buying his merch. I'm going to be wearing it loud and proud when we uh, interview him on the channel. Um... We were supposed to get him like re like really really soon after his Bellator win, but with everything that happened with Elias, or with what happened to Elias, and again rest in peace. Um, didn't want to berate him and just wanted to give him some time. All right, here we go, folks. Can Wooding the Black Panther defend his title against the Italian Thunder? Will Italy go eight and zero on Cage Warriors? We shall see.
Unbelievable. Main event of the evening next, ladies and gentlemen. We're just checking out our poll question. 37 likes. Folks, we're almost there. Share this link with your friends. Share with your family. Let's get this to 50 likes. I would love nothing more than to give away some merchandise at the end of this stream. But you know how we do it here. We set goals. We try to reach them. 50 likes on this video and or 950 subscribers on the channel. We're so close to getting 50 likes on the chat or on the video here, folks. Let's do it as we check in on the poll question. 67 votes. Not too bad. Not too bad. With the bantamweight title on the line, who wins the main event of K Drawers 144, Rome, Italy? Dominic Wooding or Michele Martigioni? 76%. Say the Italian Thunder Martigioni again. Martigioni holding a professional record of seven and one. Two KO, TKO, three submission, two decision. Dominique, the Black Panther Wooding, the Bantamweight champion. Nine wins, four losses. All nine of those wins coming by KO or TKO. Bum, ba -dum, ba -bum. Just bought a t-shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, I got I got a couple coming. They should be arriving any day now, to be honest. If Connor have balls, he will fight. <laughs> Magioni, that's funny. That's funny. All right, my official prediction. I'm going against the Italian. I'm sorry, Mirko. And still, baby. <laughs> All right, folks, main event of the evening. How to pick the win. Round one. Let's get it all. In the YouTube chat, there's a poll question, and you can pick one of those, buddy. And I'm picking Wooding for this one, and still. Mark Goddard is the ref for this main event. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video. If we get to 50 likes, we'll choose a winner from the live chat to win some City Light Project merchandise. Live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction and interaction with you amazing folks here in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Feeling each other out here on the feet. As far as the wins go, the Italian Thunder has more diverse wins. However, Dominic Wooding, he is so comfortable on his feet and he loves those knockouts and TKOs. One minute into this first round. First of five in this championship fight. Catching the leg and then making him pay is Mangioni. Sorry, I fucked up his name again. Martigioni. Nice clinch on the entry by Martigioni. Wooding tried to enter that with a knee, and Martigioni did a good job of just clinching up, grabbing him, and now pushing him up against the cage. Very lankier, or much lanky fight. A lot lankier, that's what I'm trying to say, is Wooding compared to more of the muscular fire hydrant type body that Martigioni has. Still up against the cage is Wooding. Martigioni just kind of holding him there right now. Not, not throwing too many strikes here, so we know how Goddard works. Wooding with the reversal here. And now has Martigioni up against the cage. Martigioni has one of his arms trapped. Fighting the hands here back to center of the octagon. I picked Wooding. I saw one little one thus far. For the most part, it just looked like he was just not like holding it, but pressed up against it with the open palm, Josh. But let me know if you how many you've caught and if you if you catch another one. But yes, Goddard and his uh his infamous for allowing Usman to freaking grab the cage. Josh, are you a guru fan? MMA guru. Two minutes and twenty two seconds left in this 
First round of five here in this championship fight. Bantamweight championship belt on the line. A lot of feints here by both these guys. Another walk-in right jab by Wooding. Still center of the octagon. A few feints by Martigioni. Wooding's got to keep his hands up. Or he's going to get tagged with those just walk-in shots, whether they're over overhand rights or left hooks by Martigioni, because he's not crisp and clean with those shots, and Wooding got tagged twice cleanly there. Wooding now has Martigioni up against the cage. I'm same. Exactly that. Honestly, I listen. I don't even really why. I just listen while I'm like sometimes when I'm running, just kind of like a podcast. He's got good takes. I like his style and I like his brand. You know, I know now when he's serious and not. <laughs> Nice right hand by Martigioni. And a right hook by Wooding. Wooding with his hands down. One minute left in this first round. Good exchange there by both of them. They each tagged each other. Wooding's looking a little too confident. Hands down. Faking. Trying to get... Martigioni to bite, but Martigioni's st staying composed here. Martigioni going for the level change, and Wooding makes him pay with an E. 30 seconds left in this first round. And Josh, it's the Tuke cult, buddy. Come on, this is Canada. <laughs> oh, and drops him! Dominic Wooding! He dropped Martigioni. It looked like a slip there, but the way he fell backwards. Wow. And the confidence of Wooding is just rising and rising as he straight up like Neo Matrix dodges that kick of Martigioni. Martigioni. <laughs> There's nothing more that I hate than when Americans and everybody else call the fucking Tukes beanies. Like when I think beanie, I think that stupid propeller hat that's in Wizard of Oz. No fucking tooks, man. Tooks. There's a few things, Josh, as a Canadian, that if you join us more often here on the channel that you'll see that I'm very passionate about. One of it is fuck Toronto. The Maple Leafs and everything else. The fucking Blue Jays, Toronto FC, Argonauts. Fuck them all. Fuck the center of the universe. Thing. They basically, America is Toronto, and you can, you can have all the sports. The Raptors ain't our home team. Although I wasn't that upset when they won the championship. But anyways, that, that's one of my shticks, and you'll find some more. Beanie for life, get the fuck out of here. Emotional damage. Not literally. Please stay, Reborn. Please stay. All right, first round. I have Wooding winning that one, but it's it's damn close. I just think with that knockdown. Let's get it on. Round two, let's get it on. It's pretty much American. <laughs> Atta boy, Josh. Do we just become best friends? <laughs> An Islander and someone agreeing with me on Toronto. I have Wooding winning. Oh! Martigioni! He landed a good shot on Wooding there. And now they're just scrapping. And Wooding landed a shot on Martigioni and that tagged him. They're scrapping, folks. A knee by Wooding. <laughs> yes! Let's do it! <laughs> We're basically stepbrothers. Oh, and Wooding drops Martigio. Oh, no. Yeah, he dropped him. Martigioni went for the single leg, and Wooding dropped him again. Wooding has dropped Martigioni as he tagged him a few times. Wooding has got freaking power in his strikes. Wooding is on top position. Martigioni falls to his back. Wooding must have crazy power in those shots here. And Martigioni's just leaking from his nose. And maybe there's a cut under his right eye, too. Oh, my God, folks. This is incredible. Because credit to Martigioni. He landed a 1-2. And on that second shot, that cracked. Winning a little bit. Stunned him a bit. But then he lands what I thought was a muffin. A little light one on him. And boom! The power that this lanky motherfucker has in his hands is tremendous. 
<laughs> Wooding invites Martigioni back to his feet. Wooding goes for the uppercut. He misses. Martigioni bloodied up in front of his Italian crowd. Looks a little bit out of it here, but he's still pressing forward. He's still throwing some big bombs. Three minutes left in this second round. Shout out to everybody joining us live here. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. How are you feeling about this fight? How are you digging this main event? Wooding's hands are down. He still has to be careful. As Martigioni is still throwing. I know he's compromised, but, he, but Wooding has to be careful. I don't know if Martigioni is fully recovered, but a, a left hook. A left hook of Wooding lands and Martigioni gets like thrown backwards a bit. I don't think I've seen a 135er have this much power in shots that like aren't clear power shots. Cheers, Marcel. I appreciate it. Yeah. Mar Mar uh, Martigioni isn't quitting in front of this crowd. Not yet, anyways. There's This is the second of five rounds. Martigioni just throwing everything he has. He might drain his gas tank here. He's probably recognizing the goddamn these shots by Wooding. These are hitting. These are hitting hard. I gotta have to end this fight. And he's thrown credit to him. He's thrown some big shots here, and he's pushing Wooding into the corner, and he takes Wooding down. Martigioni takes Wooding down with one minute and thirty seconds left. Martigioni top position, elbows landing. Elbows landing. Big elbows landing on Wooding from top position. One minute left. Can Martigioni stage the comeback? AU, for the most part, we're cheering for Wooding too, but Martigioni is staging one of the craziest comebacks on this entire card. Side control. Elbows just landing on Wooding. 40 seconds left. Goddard might stop this. The shots are just raining down. Wooding does a, does a good job of attempting to get to at least his back up against the cage. He was seconds away from Goddard stopping this fight. 23 seconds left. Ayub, we're cheering for your coach, but he's getting mauled right here. 15 seconds left. This is crazy. What a comeback in this round by Martigioni because straight up Martigioni was dropped like three times in that round. Comes back, gets the double leg, and just dominates Wooding for a minute and a half with unbelievable elbows and now cuts him up just as much as he was cut up in that round. I honestly think... Martigioni might have done enough to come back in that round. If not, it's a draw on the scoreboards. And Wooding took a lot of damage. Both of these fighters took a lot of damage in this round. Marcel, I lived in Courtney for a few back in the 60s, and Van was American first. <laughs> Vancouver is still Canadian. I'm sorry. Vancouver is still Canadian. <laughs> Way more Canadian than Toronto. Courtney, though, back in the 60s was probably this tiny, you know, little gem of a town. It's it's grown quite a bit. You know, Comox, pretty much Campbell. It, Campbell's like 20 minutes from Courtney now. Pretty much. Round three, folks. Let's get it all. Marcel, thank you for joining. We got Canada representing in this chat. That round was absolutely insane. Josh, how do you score that round? Do you just do draw on the feet, Wooding one on the on the floor, Martigioni one, easy peasy, split down the middle? And Martigioni try he's clinched up against the corner. He has Wooding. Martigioni is a dominant position. He's trying to take Wooding back down. 
Yeah, Josh, honestly, it's called a draw. <laughs> Third of five rounds in this championship fight, and both of these fighters showing that they won it. I mean, Wooding dropped Martigioni on the feet many, many times. I counted four. Martigioni gets the double leg takedown and absolutely mauls Wooding, hitting him with elbows, punches. Gooding now, or Goddard now, telling the fighters they're going to have to improve position or he's going to separate them. Three forty nine left in this third round. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream. Wooding was the underdog. She. All right, Goddard separates them. Thirty eight likes, folks. Come on, we're trying to get to fifty. On oh, Wooding is slowed down in the striking. He actually has his hands up. His hands aren't down. He's not Anderson Silva anymore. He's respecting. Martigioni and what he's doing with those one, two, going for the double legs. And that crowd has Martigioni's back. That's got to account for something. Wooding, though, I mean, he still has the power. I've got the power. As, we, as we've seen, as evident in this fight. Thirty-nine likes. Come on, folks! If you're watching this and you haven't liked the video yet, please do so. If you like the video and drop a comment in the live chat, you have a chance to win some prizes. If we hit eighty, or sorry, if we hit fifty likes, not eighty. If we hit fifty likes on the video by the end of this stream, we will give away some City Light Project merchandise to some lucky fans, lucky followers, lucky supporters in the live chat. Oh, and a nice right hook by Martigioni. I heard that shit through my speakers. That looked like it hurt Wooding. Wooding now. And Wooding now with the left. With a straight left. That one stuns Martigioni. What an incredible fight. Just back and forth, folks. A beautiful display of mixed martial arts. 153 left in this third round. Come on, Wooding. Don't let him bully us, son. <laughs> and Martigioni now tagging up Woody. Wooding on the feet. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, folks. This has been an absolute brawl. And Wooding waiting, picking his shots, and he lands some good ones there. Again, the amount of power that Wooding has in his shots is incredible. The fact that he's got a chin this good, too, because Martigioni is tagging him with some solid shots. Here we go. They're brawling again. Center of the octagon. Martigioni with a nice overhand right, and that lands right on the ear of Wooding. This fight is 10 out of 10. Absolutely. For the main event of the evening, this is delivering one minute left in this third round. We're on to championship rounds. If these fighters survive this last 53 seconds. Get fight past Jefferson, I'm telling you, bro. For the next one, for the next one. For tonight's FAC, Jefferson. 36 seconds left. Who's going to engage? Who's going to engage? And here it is. Martigioni goes in. Misses with that overhand twice in a row. Wooding kind of getting a little more confident again. Wooding very stationary, waiting, just kind of picking his part or picking him apart. Waiting to pick his shot is Martigioni. He's the one bouncing around here. Going for that double leg late with 13 seconds left. Ken Wooding defend the takedown. Ken Wooding defend the single leg. Eight seconds left. Martigioni doing everything he can to get that takedown. Elbow on the exit. He didn't get that takedown, but he landed some good shots. That's another close round, folks. I have no idea how this fight is being scored right now. I would say that Wooding won the first round. The second round was a straight draw. This third round? Who won this third round? Who won this third round? Let me know in the live chat. I have no idea. Another draw? It's a good thing I'm not a judge. Jeez.
In the broadcast, Patty the Batty just said what I said. Dominic Wooding has a fucking hell of a chin because he has been tagged with multiple absolute bombs that Martigioni has been throwing. Dominic Wooding, this is, an, this is an insane test for him here tonight because Martigioni is throwing everything he, that he has at him. I think... Martigioni will win this round due to the output. Let's fucking go. Let's get it off. Round four. Shh. Nice high kick by Martigioni. Martigioni coming out swinging at the start of the round. Like the video if you haven't already, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. And now Wooding engages. I mean, just just a back and forth scrap, folks. Back and forth scrap. Both these guys have good chins. Wooding, though, has, a, has been able to visually just absolutely rock Martigioni on multiple occasions. Martigioni grabs the back of Wooding and s slams him. But Wooding does a good job of getting right back to his feet. Unbelievable fight. And there you go, Martigioni takes Wooding back to the ground. Martigioni was so dominant when he had top position on the ground. One minute into this fourth round, folks. The crowd is insane. Backing their boy from Italy, Martigioni. Three forty-six left in this round. Martigioni not nearly getting as many strikes from top position that he got earlier in this fight. Doing a good job by or doing a good job is Wooding defending from his back. And here we go, Martigioni trying to advance his position now, trying to get out of that half guard, that tight half guard. And here we go. Now modified half guard top position by Montigioni. This is where he was working in that second round. So much blood from both of these fighters. Montigioni attacking the body now from top position. And here we go. Here come the elbows. Here come the elbows. There's that side of the wrist on the head and then you let it go and boom! I guess you push down and... Tom, what's going on, Tom? I see you, uh, you You changed your picture again. What's going on, buddy? I can't keep track. How are you, Tom? Thank you for joining, buddy. Another live stream later today, too, Tom. Go subscribe, everyone. To Rated R Tom. Big supporter of this channel. 224 left in this fourth round. Around that, he may not be doing a lot of damage in top position, is Martigioni, but he has had top position for most of this fight. Wooding doing a good job of scrambling here, getting his back up against the cage. Trying to prop up. No idea what you're saying, buddy. Fight pass if you're asking where you're... If you're asking where to find it. And on his butt right now is Wooding. Matt Tugioni, though, still in top position. All right, Tom, didn't watch it. Watch boxing, boxing instead. This is a fight channel. You know I ain't watching the NFL. So much blood. Back to his feet is Wooding. Honestly, the only NFL team I kind of keep tabs on is the Seahawks and maybe the Vikings. It was like a weird kind of mount. Wooding doing a good job defending the single leg right now. And I said this, Martigioni is more the well-rounded fighter. And it's showing here. With his wrestling. Wooding doing a good job of keeping him on his feet, though. Late in this fourth round. Oh, and on the exit, Martigioni lands a tremendous right hook. Right on the chin of Wooding. The Wooding and Martigioni fight is going on right now. Yes. 
Wooding won the first round. Second round was a draw, I believe. Third round, Martigioni will give him the edge due to output. And this fourth round has been all Martigioni, but there's 24 seconds left. They're back to their feet, and Wooding is trying to land whatever he can. Thank you for joining, my man. 15 seconds left on their feet. We know the game plan of Martigioni now, especially with one more round in this. He's just going to tackle him and stay in top position. Wooding, he has to finish this fight via strikes. Oh my goodness, folks. I mean, this is such a close fight. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. First round, I, I truly believe Wooding won that first round. Second round, who knows? Really, who knows? Third round, got to give it to uh, Martigioni. Fourth round, got to give it to Martigioni. So it could be tied going into the fifth round, and Martigioni could be up just because that second round was a draw. Let me know if you agree with my summarization thus far in the live chat, folks. Reborn saying Wooding needs the finish. If you haven't already liked the video, drop a comment in the live chat. 41 likes, folks. Nine more likes. Nine more likes. And we hit our goal of 50. And I will give away some prizes. Joe, what's going on, Joe? Thank you so much for joining, buddy. If Vince Carver's drafted by the Grizzlies, said they wouldn't have ever left Vancouver. Sure. Woody needs a finish. I mean, Tom, I agree. But we're watching the Cage Warriors fifth round Let's main event of the evening. I don't want to talk about the Grizzlies right now. I'm not going to lie, Tom. We can talk about some basketball after this. <laughs> and here we go. Flying knee by Martigioni. They're scrapping center of the octagon. Martigioni goes for that double leg. And Martigioni just dragging Wooding to the ground. I agree, but if Wooding wins the fifth, anything is possible. All depends on that second. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Again, any basketball fans, any football fans, follow Rated R Tom. He talks more sports than I do. I just talk, as you know, fights and a little bit of hockey. Top position again is Martigioni. One minute into this fifth and final round for the Bantamweight title. Tom, any big plans this weekend, my man? Aaron S., hook me up with something, man. Thank you so much for commenting. <laughs> Where are we at? 42 likes. We're almost there, buddy. We are almost there. If we hit either or either of our goals of 50 likes on the video and or 950 subscribers, by the end of the stream, we will give away some prizes. We do that. On every single stream, we will be back here at 7 p.m. Pacific time for FAC 16. Go Eagles, love football and basketball. Let's go. <laughs> I do like basketball. Football is meh. Love hockey. Love lacrosse. Those are my two favorite sports outside of fighting. Aaron S. New sub like the vibes, man. Thank you so much, Aaron. <laughs> Welcome to this amazing fight community that we're building. We do a minimum of four fight companions every single week. Usually, we used to do a minimum of two. Now, it's pretty much four. UFC, Belgium, PFL, RFA, Cage Warriors, BKFC, one championship. You name it, we cover it all. Thank you so much for joining. Fight reactions, vlogs, everything on this channel. Top position is Martigioni. He's on his feet in... Side, uh, what do you even call this? Half guard, but he's on his feet. Tries to move to side control, but Wooding is back on his feet. And right back for the double leg takedown goes Martigioni. Appreciate it again, Aaron <laughs> and Joe. You two are amazing. Thank you so much for joining. And Martigioni has the back. Pulls Wooding right back to the ground. Who wants it more indeed? Who wants it more indeed? Wooding, this is the biggest test of his entire career. Especially in Cage Warriors. Fucking hell. Are the Italians going to go 8-0 tonight? We're almost there. <laughs> 43 likes, folks. We're almost at 50. 
And regardless if we hit our goal of 50 likes or 950 subscribers, we will, we do have another stream tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific time where we're going to have the same contest. I'm going to give everyone in this live chat a shout out regardless before we hang up the gloves tonight. Wooding doing everything he can to get right back up, but then Matt Martigioni just right on him. I don't know what, what is this? Russian? I can't read it, buddy. Sorry. One minute left in this fifth and final round in this championship fight. Main event of the evening. Cage Warriors 114. Roll Italy. Are the Italians going to go eight for eight? Based on how this fifth round has gone for Martigioni. I think so. And the crowd is going crazy right now in Rome. Full mount. Full mount for Martigioni. 40 seconds left. And as a... Thirty seconds left. Pretty, and now he has kind of that side control. But just, and now his back. Martigioni, all of the tides have turned from the first couple rounds where Wooding was dropping Martigioni. Martigioni has the back of Wooding as he's ending this fight. Trying to slide in the rear naked choke. Ten seconds left. The crowd played a massive part, 100%. I think there's going to be a new champion. I think this is and new, folks. Look at that on his back, Martigioni. Oh, it's all over. Italy, stand up. Martigioni survives the onslaught of attacks by Wooding. Survives the first three rounds, comebacks, and just dominates with the ground and pound in the wrestling. I mean, the judging could be close, depending on how that second round went. But oh my goodness, an emotional fight, an emotional ending for Martigioni. How is he still standing? How does he have any energy here? Unbelievable championship fight, Cage Warriors 114. Well, stand up, John. I think you might have predicted correctly, buddy. Hell of a chin for Wooding. Hell of a chin for Martigioni. What an unbelievable fight. 44 likes on the video, folks. We're trying to get to 50. Once we hit 50, we'll reach our goal and we'll be able to give away some prizes. Unbelievable. I'm still blown away, folks. I'm still blown away. Wow. I know it's the start of the NHL season, folks, but all I care about is MMA right now. Hey, if you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can like the video and drop a comment in the live chat because once you do that, you are automatically entered into winning some prizes. And when we hit 50 likes on the video, we'll give away some merchandise to a lucky person who commented in the live chat. So to the one viewer on Twitter, get your ass over to YouTube. What are you doing on Twitter? Come over to YouTube. That's what the real party is. Cage Warriors 144. All right, here we go. This one is a very close fight. Wooding, I think, definitively won the first round. Second, who knows? Third, it's close. Fourth and fifth went to Martigioni 100%. Let's see how this one is scored. We're listening in right now. I think the Martigioni had enough to win this fight. We don't know who won yet, buddy. We're listening right now. New Cage Warriors Bantamweight Champion, Michele Martigioni. Oh, 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 my God. Eight for eight. Go the Italians. Cage Warriors roll. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness. Love your content, says phase, and thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome to the fight community that we are building on this channel.
Patty Pimblett said this is the best Cage Warriors title fight that he's ever seen in the promotion. Hey, we got it wrong. But I'm okay with that. This was an unbelievable fight. And that Cage Warriors belt, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful, beautiful championship belt. 100%. What, a, what an amazing night for Italian MMA. Marcel, five likes to reach 50. Come on, folks. I know we can do it. Stand up. Give me those likes. You, we do have giveaways on every single stream that I do, Marcel. So if you don't win, if we don't do a giveaway on this one, be sure to join us tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific and tomorrow at 5 or 3 p.m. Pacific for Cage Warriors. Or so for uh, Cage Fury. Wow. And new, ladies and gentlemen. And new. I'm, I'm just tweeting this right now. It's just the what what a story. What a story. Wow. What a tremendous day for MMA here in Italy. Even Patty the Batty is super impressed as well. I mean, how could you not? What what an awesome main event. What a great co-main event. What an awesome card overall, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Josh, what a card. And look at that, Josh going from foes to friends to brothers. Step brothers, but brothers on the channel. Josh, I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting us. See, we're not that bad here. We're not that bad. Did we still get the L or didn't do we now get the the W, Josh? That's what I want to know. And Josh, you better be a Canucks fan. If I somehow find out that you're like a fucking Edmonton fan or a Toronto fan, then we're back to foes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Fist bump, buddy. Thank you so much. Next time you're in Nanaimo, Josh, passing through. White sales beers on me, brother. White sales beers on me. Unbelievable, folks. Eight for eight. Again, go the Italians on the card. <laughs> Aaron saying, let's go Pens. Aaron is a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Holy moly. Tam, you wouldn't go well next time. Much love. City life. Good stream. Hey, Jefferson, thank you so much. You've been here from the beginning. Before we even went live, we were talking in the chat. So, Jefferson, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you so much. I hope to see you on some of our next streams here. And get Fight Pass. Get Fight Pass. Hell, Jefferson, you got PayPal? I'll fucking pay for it. Just get Fight Pass. <laughs> oh, man, what a tremendous event. All right, one last look. 47 likes. Come on. Come on. Can we reach 50 likes? I'm literally giving you folks two more minutes. Two more minutes, and then we're hanging it up here. Three more likes. You got a like in you, folks? Man, unbelievable. Martigioni in the crowd, yelling with his fans. Amazing. Cage Warriors, 144 in the books. 49 likes. Come on, one more, one more. I'm refreshing the page. This is it. This is the last refresh. If we don't get to 50, that is it. I'm refreshing it here, folks. Five, four, three, two. Still at 49. All right, let me review the poll question quick. Maybe we can get to 50 after that. 76 of you thought Wooding was going to win. Martigioni, the upset, 24%. 50 bucks. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, baby. Bam. All right, you folks know the drill. We hit 50 likes. That means we're going to choose a winner. Well, randomly select a winner from this live chat. So don't go anywhere. I'm just going to run my generator, and I'll be back to announce the winner on the other side.
I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Take the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh. All right. Hard entry, not even going to wait till the video's done. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen, randomly selected. That's right. I mean, whether you've commented once or a hundred times, it doesn't matter. One comment gets you entry. Save them all in this random generator. I click, ran, or select, start. Starts what the official button says. And it just chooses someone. So, are you ready? Oh, Vasco, I've explained it so many times, dude. I've explained it so many times. I do it on autopilot, but I'll explain it one more time for you. Vasco, every username, okay, every username that in the live chat has commented, I note, I literally, I save, I paste into like just a, a, a generating selector, like a list selector of names or, or whatever titles. Everyone that comes in, I mark down, I click start, it randomly chooses one. All right. So, even like, and that's why I'm I'm a little confused with your question. Everyone who did comment on the stream is theoretically here because we're live or was here. And if it's someone who like say isn't, you know, one of the last 15 people viewing who commented earlier, I always write the name of the user in the description of the video when when it's posted, this live stream video, and I comment it and I say email me so it, it basically, it's up to the winner at this point. If you win, you got to email me to claim your prize so I can get your shipping address and everything. No, no, no worries, buddy. No worries. Now you know, now everyone knows. Tommy, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> I love the picture. That's hilarious. See you tonight for FAC if I'm not with the woman. <laughs> Appreciate it, Josh. Appreciate it. Okay, wait, wait. The winner. Funkmaster Flare, you have won this evening. Funkmaster, email me. This is my email. Email me here to claim your prize, brother. And for everyone who entered, again, I cannot say how much you mean to me as a viewer, as a subscriber, as a supporter. We have two more streams this weekend. That means there's two more opportunities for you to win some merchandise and also just have some fun on these fight streams with us. For those, again, one more time, uh, Funk Master, shout out to you. You've won the prize. I'm going to give everyone now a shout out who joined us here. The prize winner tonight by random, but thank you so much for joining. Funk Master Flay, email me. You'll claim your prize. John, next time, buddy, next time. And trust me, there's no bias here whatsoever. We ship everywhere. We, we've, we're we trying to ship to Thailand for a contest winner as well. It's been a little tough, but we're, but we're doing it. There's, there's a will and there's a way. So we're doing it. We've shipped to the UK. We've shipped to Ireland. We've shipped to the US. We've shipped to, you know, within Canada. So there you go. There you go. Cheers, brother. Cheers. All right. Shout out to Funkmaster. Shout out to John. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to, of course, our good friend Vasco. You never have to apologize, brother. Shout out to Tommy. Shout out to Mirko. Shout out to uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Jefferson, Aaron, Marcel, Faison. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but shout out to you too. Joe. Tom Reborn, Zoomer Loyalist, Ayub, Dario. I'm just scrolling up. I don't. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. SLG. Bum ba da ba bum. 
Payne. What's up, Payne? Thank you so much. Um, Mario joined us as well. Brian, Brittany, Luke. Shane said, what's up? I said reborn already. Um, Pardrinov. Um, bum, 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 bum. I didn't miss anybody. Oh yeah, Colby. My boy Colby in Prague. Check out his channel. And Nimesh Marland. Bum, 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 bum. There's a lot of people here tonight. I love it. Santiago balling in the mix. I ain't going to miss any of you folks. I'm scrolling all the way to the top of the chat here. Vicky. Uh, Peanuts. And of course, the state of Hoppy, the soda pod. You all are amazing. Mirko from Italy, eight for eight. That's huge for Italian MMA. Mirko, you're such a beauty. You're such a beauty. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, Reborn, as well. Appreciate all of you. Hope to see you all uh, in how many hours? In five hours, less than five hours. In four and a half hours time, I will see you for FAC 16 live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Until then, I say peace. I'm out of here.